welcome to Adobe Live. Hello, everyone. Hello, oh, it's hello. so great <laughs> to be back. <laughs> oh my gosh. This time we have a lovely guest, Dohi. Um, Dohi Kim, for, uh, coming from a studio that you run. Yes, yeah? it's called Shop Theory. Shop Theory, and you'll introduce yourself in a bit, but. Um, uh, I'm really excited for this uh, today's stream. This is it's going to be a blast. We have some really fun topics that we're designing around. So just like, you know, if you have a seatbelt, strap it in. Hopefully you're not watching this while you're driving. No, don't watch it while you're driving. Hypothetical, <laughs> hypothetical seatbelt. Um, hello to everyone in the chat. Um, we are streaming hello, from hello. San Francisco. We would love to hear where everyone is joining from. Uh, where are you watching from? And introduce yourself. We'd, we'd love to to hear and see, say hello to everyone. Sam Anna, and I hello. Live, Sam and Voodoo. I live down the street from oh, each other. We're practically neighbors. We are neighbors, yes. I think. We, this is what we just learned about each other. <laughs> um, Richard, hello. George, thanks everyone. Julia, Steve, everyone coming in. And oh, Voodoo's got a uh, seatbelt buckled. This is great, <laughs> this is great. You're um, in for the ride. Oh, we're in, we're in. Um, Justin says hi. Um, and we'll see where, oh, Stockholm, Sweden. That's that's far away, that must be there. pretty late, never yeah? Oh my gosh, yeah, we're tuning, look. We're, uh, we're, at, the, we're at the San Francisco uh, Golden Gate Bridge yeah. Visitor Center right, right now. Yeah, just right on the top no, of the I'm, bridge. <laughs> we are not at the, no, this is not. <laughs> it's kinda cold. We're, this is a green screen behind us. <laughs> Trust us. Um, uh, but we're, we're having a lot of fun, and this is going to be a blast, this is, uh, we're we're doing it. We're doing a challenge today, right? Or not challenge? Sorry, I was doing challenges earlier. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> we're designing live here with Dohi today, and then she's joining back tomorrow, same time frame. You can expect to see us here again. And uh, we're diving into XD. We're um, oh, here's here's our schedule. This might be helpful. So. Uh, in the morning we have helpful. in the morning <laughs> in the morning we have Photoshop. Um, then we're going into uh, our Adobe Live career building. Um, at, that's at nine thirty. You know, going right through all the way to Dohi, which is you know that's what we're we're watching right now. And so that's what you can expect over today and tomorrow. Um, so we're gonna have a lot of fun. Uh, we're we're learning about responsive resize yep. in XD. We are. Um, we're doing experience design. If you don't know what experience design is, what is what is this? What is this discipline oh, that we're God. in? Oh God, that's a, a Before, trick question. Before, and then you're also gonna have to introduce yourself. <laughs> okay, uh, experience design. I think of um, as like interactive design. Um, you know, we're building really like just beyond one image. You know, thinking mm. about like how a user goes through an experience. You know, how we're solving a problem. Um, we're gonna be doing that today with a website design, which is pretty straightforward. Um, but you can use XD for all sorts of things. So um, but I'll show you kind of some of the things that we're using it for today. Cool. And so if you don't know me, I'm Sam Anderson. I'm a designer here at Adobe on the XD team. Um, so if you have any feedback for XD, throw it my way and I'll, I'll let you know. Um, but I'll throw then it over to you and let you introduce yourself. Cool. So I think I have something on my screen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, can you guys see it? Almost. There oh, OK. Oh, yeah. there you guys. Oh, OK, cool. Oh, that's really big. Um, so, <laughs> uh, my name's Dohi. Um, I'm a designer here in San Francisco. Um, I think I have a slide. Yes, that's me. This is me when I have long hair and different glasses. <laughs> um, but you know, here are some titles that, you know, I think titles are really weird, especially with designers. And like every year I feel like there's a whole new batch of titles. So when people ask me what I do or what I am. I'm just um, moving so you can see the Twitter oh, oh, handle there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, these are some of the titles I use to describe myself. I would say mostly I think of myself as a general designer, kind of interdisciplinary. Um, I started with kind of graphic design and a lot of like marketing design work that I think mm -hmm. a lot of designers start in, and that was almost 10 years ago, so uh, I am older than maybe you guys might think. Um, and then moving into more web design, and now I think the popular term is like product design, where you're thinking about UI, UX, you know, how things work as well as what things look like. Um, 
That's me. Um, I am one half, or actually now one fourth, one fifth, of a studio um, called Shop Theory that I started with uh, one of my former coworkers and longtime colleague, Jess Levitz. Jess, if you're on, I don't know if you're on. Sydney, one of our team members is on. I see you. Um, Ooh, we awesome. are, yeah, we are a bi coastal studio based in San Francisco and New York, and we uh, do a lot of branding. Um, web design for mostly like retail web clients. Um, you know, I think like people tend to know us for kind of colorful, fun, you know, little quirky work. Um, so that's the kind of stuff we like to do. Um, but both of our backgrounds is in, we worked at a lot of e-commerce startups and retail startups before starting our studio. So just mm -hmm. bringing in some of that like Bit, like understanding of the business for our clients and being able to apply that to our work, I think has been super helpful. Um, so nice. how long has that been going? So um, far? Shop Theory is now, I think three, are we three already? Wow, um, three years, okay. Yeah, so it's been it's been a journey and like, yeah, it's been it's been great. It's hard, but it, it's good. You're running your own thing, yeah. That's, yeah, that's for a challenge. sure. Yeah. Um, and let's see, when I'm not doing shop theory, or when I am doing shop theory and not doing shop theory, um, you know, these are the kind of things that like I love, like mm. typography, I love type, and just, I could probably spend the whole stream just looking oh through gosh. Adobe fonts and oh like my God. talking about each one, right? We could do that, but yes. I don't know you if that You chose a really good, what is this one? This one's this good. Is, I don't know if this oh. is on Oh, oh. Oh, it might. <laughs> it's okay. Okay. It's all <laughs> is this Apricue? <laughs> oh, Apricue. Yeah. Yes. Um, yeah, I, think it, I think it might be. Maybe. Yeah. I don't know. Um, so, yeah, I, oh. I like really colorful work. We'll see some of that in um, the work we do today. So, even though I focus mostly in web design and, you know, a lot of that can be in like wireframes, which I'll show you guys too, like, um, you know, when we work on visuals. I, I don't know. We try to bring in color as much as possible because it's just why not? It's just oh, what color is the so needed. World Look, go around. We're, we're oh, both yeah. dressed very colorfully today. Um, yep. It is great. It's you color. get the pink. This slide, by oh, the way, yeah, is kinda, in like perfect matching. Works with me. Of, of your outfit. I was, this is not so, planned. Not it's, planned. It's, um, well, I think it was planned. Maybe it was planned. No, no, it's just <laughs> it was a late night, yeah, subconscious planning. Subconsciously planned. Um, <laughs> so yeah, one of the things you guys will see, like I'm super into process, so I'll show you guys a little bit about my web process as well, hmm. and like web design process in general when working with clients or even on like an internal project, which I'll be showing you guys today. Um, and so the last thing you'll see on the list is corn dogs. That's the really important one. Very on this important, list, I think, because right? that is what our project is going to be about today. Oh my gosh! Are you ready for <laughs> this? <laughs> so we're going to be over the next two days. We're going to be designing a web and mobile experience for a business called Corn Dogget, uh, which is a um, fake, Corn Dogget. Uh, yeah, yeah, fake, but. Yeah. <laughs> potentially real uh, corn a uh, food truck based in San Francisco selling corn dogs. Now, many of you uh, might not know, some of you, maybe you guys know what corn dogs are. Some of you might not know what corn dogs are. Mm. Um, I've Sam, pulled up the you? I've pulled up the the Wikipedia page here for what a corn dog is. And um, <laughs> <laughs> this is a very uh, popular carnival food or maybe not even carnival. Not you know this not every even. day this is this is but just maybe everyday it, food. Okay, really? I'm from the south, so okay. <laughs> it's a it's a hot dog, a sausage uh, that's dipped in batter and then deep fried, and this is the result. Um, I love. You should go on the corn dog Wikipedia page <laughs> and read this quote. It's quite <laughs> fantastic. Um, yeah, uh, it's. It, this is this is what a corn dog. This is a very flattering picture. <laughs> you guys will see something very similar for my web design. So I don't know. Sam's hating on that photo all day, but I I think it's lots I of potential. I think that's a much better photo. Well, we'll be using something like that later. <laughs> so we're designing a food truck for corn yes, dogs. Yes, food truck okay. for corn dogs. Because there's no corn dogs in San Francisco. There's no corn dogs in San Francisco. Guys. Which is we where we're live in the from. corn dog desert. Okay. And um, so our client, Corn Dogget, has come to us to create a web experience for Corn Dogget so that they can get, um, you know, brand awareness. They can reach, you know, connect with their customers. They just, you know, every business now needs to have a web presence, right? So mm -hmm. uh, over the next two days, we're going to be working on, um, I'll just demo mostly on the homepage, how I would go about designing a homepage and showing that, you know, Again, it needs to be a responsive design. Everyone's on the phone these days. And I think it's now even like starting to be legally required. It has to be responsive or wow. something like that. Yes. Wow. So like you can't, I mean, that was like five years ago. You know, you can't ignore uh, multi-device, uh, making your d design multi-device friendly. And um, so, yeah. So, so uh, 
we have someone in the chat. Yeah. Joseph Van Wessel. I remember corn dogs from movies from the 90s and early 2000s, especially when located in New York. Never seen one in real life, though. I live in Europe. Well, but your husband's in New York. And my, yeah, never... my husband's from New York. He's never eaten a horn dog until very recently. That... Wow. But, uh, oh, okay, until recently. recently so it's, yes. it's happened. It's okay. happened. Um, <laughs> But yeah, <laughs> okay, first of all, corn dogs are way better than hot dogs. So, it's Wait, like, why is that? Because they're deep fried. <laughs> <laughs> it's just <laughs> everything is it. better deep fried, and you don't yeah. get the soggy bun of a, cor- of no, a hot no dog. Yeah. Um, hot dogs are good, don't get me wrong, but corn dogs are way better. Okay. So, anyways, so yeah, so um, this is a very serious topic, <laughs> and um, we'll be treating this like a real client project. Um, so, I want to show you guys a little bit of my process, and um, yeah, let's just jump right in. Let's jump in. Yeah, awesome. And of course, uh, we're designing in Adobe XD. Yes, um, which you guys will see. Oh, yeah. you guys see my slides. Oh, yeah. Whoa. I mean, that was Whoa. the introduction slide. Yeah, okay. my Great introduction slide. So you've been working at this a little bit already. Yes, yeah, so um, I wanted to get it to a place where, um, you know, this is like, obviously we only have like, you know, an hour and a half, two hours with you guys yeah. together today. Um, if And I told Sam I work really slow. <laughs> so like, if <laughs> you guys saw from scratch, yeah. like, it'd be like, we would get nowhere. And, and um, everyone knows how to make a rectangle, you know, you yes. just use the rect- It's, you know, we're, we're going to jumpstart yes, ourselves jump into, the, start. into the design process, yes. um, which is going to be really fun. Deep fried ice cream. Have you had deep fried ice I cream? I have had deep fried ice oh, cream. Wow. There's ice cream tempura, which is very wow. good. Wow. Oh, my God. Good. Thanks for thanks for that little note. Yeah. Now. That's great. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. Um, so where are we beginning? Yes. Yeah, so uh, just to, like, backtrack before. Today, I wanted to spend most of the time on, like, fun visual stuff. But I wanted to show you guys, like, what I would do um, at the beginning of a client project. Um, mm. Because I think it's fun to focus on visuals. But, like, before we start all the fun stuff, there needs to be some, like, strategy and, like, goals that we align with the client. Um, So honestly, before I start any client project, like I'll give them a long survey about like, okay, what are your goals in the business? Kind of give me some of your key values. Like some of the times clients come to us and they have like a cool like style guide, like everything's ready, you know, and like as a web designer, we're kind of like, okay, now we'll bring this to life on the web. However, a lot of the times, and I think especially with some internal projects, you know, you're given kind of a brief with words and then kind of up to you to figure it out, like how uh, to bring that to life. So that will be kind of more along the lines of where we are today. Like it's awesome when we get a project and like the style is really developed and like we're ready to go. But I think as web designers too, you don't always get the assets you want and it's up to us to create them. Um, That's a lot more challenging. Yes, yeah, it to, is a lot of work. You have to determine what that creative direction is. For sure, for, for sure. The client. So I'll kind of show you guys what I do. Okay. Um, so, uh, so I guess two two things. Um, before I, before we do visuals, or as I'm doing visuals, what I'll do is I'll um, start what I call uh, what we call wireframes, which yeah. is super easy to mm-hmm. create in XD, mm-hmm. um, which are basically like low fidelity. Um, is that a word I can use? Yes, low fidelity. Yeah. Uh, like mock-ups for what a site might look like. So let's say I had, I would talk to my client, you know, he told me like, hey, my goal for the next year for this business is I want people to, first of all, like learn more about us and get brand awareness yeah. out. But also I really wanna push our catering business, right? So I'm like, okay, cool. So we have this food truck, but also this catering business. So as I'm working through the wireframes, um, it's again, ideal scenario, client comes to us and they're like, oh, here's all this beautiful copy and all of the strategy we have. 90% <laughs> of the time, that is not what, how nope. clients come to us. They're okay. like, we have this yep. idea and here's what we wanna do. Um, so what I'll do is, this is kind of our first pass at a wireframe. So created an XD, what I'll do is, you know, I always warn the clients, like this is not meant to say, like this is what the layout's gonna look like. Like obviously this is not, you know. Final. It's not final. Yeah, this is not it's final. Er, it's We're really not, early. Yeah, but this is a great point for us to mm-hmm. just align on like content and structure of the site. Yeah. Um, and a great point for us to let the, like us to gut check, right? Like, oh no, like your vision, you know, what you're thinking for the site is totally different from what I'm thinking from the site. So before we spend hours going into the visuals, let's like hash it out here. Um, so what I do is I'll create a rough um, outline for each page, just using like very basic placeholder copy. Um, I don't personally like using lorem ipsum because I think lorem ipsum is 
dangerously simple. <laughs> yeah. And like you're like lorem ipsum, and you're like, what? What is that lorem ipsum supposed to you be? You got to design with content. It also throws clients off. They're like, what is? What is that? Yeah, like, yeah, Latin totally. Doing in my design. <laughs> or you make a lot of assumptions when it's lorem ipsum, right? Like yeah. I could assume like, oh, like if it has lorem ipsum here, I could be like, oh, that's where our address is gonna go. But like the client could have thought like, oh, like well, first of all, they probably don't know what that is. But um, yeah. you know, just so like even if it's something super rough, like oh, here's the mission statement, introductory statement for this business called Corn Docket. Like, you know, just laying out chunks. Mm -hmm. um, and what I'll do is just mock up every page super roughly, and this is prototype through XD so that it's clickable. And um, the client can start to get a feel for like how the website might feel. And mm -hmm. um, yeah, what's great about like these low fidelity wireframes is like you do them before you invest a lot of time. So yes. you can easily like test to make sure, oh, like for the person that's going to be on this website, is it like solving their need? Mm -hmm. Like on like a basic level of just like hierarchy, is it comprehensible? Do they understand what's going on? Yeah, it's just like really easy way to, to figure out those design problems before you get into the exact visual design. Um, yeah. So be sure to add wireframing to your process. 100%. If you do any sort of web design, like this takes time, but I mean, it's mu but it's much faster than you mm -hmm. mocking up this really cool thing yeah. and high fidelity visual design mm -hmm. and having to describe everything. And it honestly keeps you a lot more focused and the client focused on like oh, yeah. solving the problem. Oh my gosh. Versus if you yeah. show them high fidelity designs from the beginning, they're like, oh, I don't like that yellow. Yeah. And the conversation it becomes totally all gets about the yellow. Yeah. I just want to say hi to Jersey, the first live stream they're watching. I'm glad you're joining in. Hi, Jersey. And Salvatore, great, great to see you as well. Um, so, like, the XD team on on our team, we're we're also using low fidelity wireframey prototypes awesome. to come up with designs. So, like, this is it's not limited to just web. Um, oh like yeah, it's any kind anything. Of, any kind of uh, design work. It really helps focus the feedback that you're gonna get. Absolutely. Um, or else they're gonna be like, I don't like that font, and you're like, I don't, I don't, I don't want care. feedback on the font. <laughs> yeah. Like, what do you think about the layout? And is this this is, like, this, is this solving the like the need? Is yeah. This, you know, are these the pieces of content? Mm. So you know, this is a good point for me to check with the client. Be like, hey, you know, I'm thinking like we need a menu page, we need like a find us page so that people can find. Like that's probably what number one people want to do when they find a corn dog truck or want a food truck. Um, here's the, you know, catering is in the top navigation just to really drive that point home because it's important for the business mm -hmm. yeah. and, you know, things like that. So. Carlton's eating his lunch uh, <gasps> as he watches this. Yes. Are so. you eating a corn dog? <laughs> <laughs> How ideal would that be, right? <laughs> and I'm hungry. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. We'll get lunch after. Don't uh, worry. <laughs> no, no worries. <laughs> I was too nervous before this to even eat anyways. Mm, yeah. Um, so yeah, so this is like what I would send over to the client and be like, okay, and we might have a couple rounds of back and forth and it might get more fleshed out with like, um, as the client sees this, like I think as designers, it's so easy for us to visualize things and imagine things. But for a lot of clients, they do not know they can't like respond to anything about their site until they start to see something concrete. So I warn them, you know, I, even though I tell them this is an early, you know, clickable prototype, like this, this is such an important tool for them to give feedback about like, oh, okay, now I can start writing copy or like, you know, you know I, again, I love to have content before I start designing, but some, like it's so hard for a lot of clients to mm -hmm. do that. So it is. even giving them the skeletal wireframe is just super helpful. And then they can spend some time being like, oh, actually, like the story I want to tell is more like this. Or like, oh, this is a great idea. You know, just keep things going. Um, so Sweet. while they're kind of giving feedback, what I'll do also is like, um, I'll just, again, let's imagine a world in which all I got, oh, where'd my logo go? <gasps> oh, logo shoot. go. Oh, I don't know isn't where that? My logo went. Oh, hmm. oh. Anyways, okay. Well, that's fun. That's okay. Um, let's pretend all is it this I one? got. Is that the logo? No. Well, this that was part pretty... of the logo. Oh, okay. I don't know where the other logo went. Oh, there it is. Okay, uh, there we go. Oh, look okay. at that. So let's imagine, like, again, like, prepared. <laughs> I love oh, it. Oh yeah, this is my like <laughs> two-second logo for you guys. But let's pretend we got a logo from a client. Again, ideal scenario, I get everything. I get mm -hmm. like a font, I get their style guide. But in this case, all we got was a logo and some keywords. Again, that's why that survey is super important, right? Like yeah. I asked my clients, like what are some of the like traits we want? And like, Emo like emotional kind of words yeah. that are like visual and descriptive. But what we do actually yeah. at Shop Theory is we give them a list oh, and we okay. ask them to like mark things that kind of resonate with them. Because so it's again, like an activity. In yeah, a way. it's okay. totally an onboarding yeah. activity because clients, you know, again, we're creative people. We know these words, but 
people, okay, probably someone selling corn dogs is probably a creative person, but you know, um, <laughs> like, hope, you yeah. know, like not everyone knows what, like they might not think quirky is in their vocabulary or like playful or warm, but you know, we as designers like these nuanced words. Yeah. And um, so you've got some colors here too. Yes. Those feel quirky, so, vibrant, yeah. playful. So based on like these words, this is what I had to start with, the words. All okay. I got were words from my client. Uh, and let's say this logo. Uh, what I'll do is I'll start kind of pulling like inspiration, oh like super rough, like. Uh, Look at that. I'll just start pulling like whatever things kind of like resonate with me yeah. um, with these words. And again, like I'm, I'm biased with this project because like I love corn dogs and like I have a specific <laughs> aesthetic. What so. a perfect client for I you, I know, right? what a perfect client. Oh my gosh. Wow. Is there such thing as a perfect client? I know, if there were, but I, I had my husband fill the survey out so that I wasn't like too biased oh, in my own work. that's perfect. Right, so, yeah. and he's very, different from me um, but I told him I might ignore some of it but anyways um, so yeah based on these words I'll do like a rough like internal pull so often yeah. my artboards look not even as clean as this it'll just be like explosion of kind of like initial brain dump here yeah um, based on that I'll go in and again like I these are some of the snippets from that like user not user customer Oh, client survey that I like to keep like on my artboard so that like as I'm designing I think especially when you get into visuals like it becomes so personal uh, it can become personal and subjective so I just like to have like the words to just bring me back to like the client goals the client needs and these are direct quotes right yeah these are direct yeah. polls like just copy and paste obviously yeah. I didn't even delete the um but you know like crispiness moisture sweetness <laughs> saltiness being on a stick like those being are the things on a stick. we want to call out um with corn dog it you know corn dogs are very simple and you know we want to keep yeah. it simple but yeah dean understands the corn dog aesthetic yes That's what you're thank going you for, right? thank you dean yeah. you get me yes <laughs> Um, this is it. This is this the corn is, dog. This is aesthetic. the corn dog aesthetic we're oh, going absolutely. for. Chicago Cubs. Oh. Yeah. So I pulled this because. Um, I'm from Chicago. I, oh yeah, you are from <laughs> Chicago. Uh, nice. Because yeah, there was some words like retro, vintage. Yeah. I don't usually <clears throat> do that aesthetic, but like I, I, I pulled it. some of that in, like this one maybe, and this and this, just because. I don't know, and like I, I'm a huge like type person, so like I love how it's mixing type. Um, so anyway, these are not to say my designs will end up looking anything like this. Yeah. Sorry guys, this is like high expectations right here. <laughs> Sorry, um, John just said. Yeah, what John say? Are we dressed like Dora the Explorer and Bob the Builder on purpose? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Is that a comp? No, I don't think that's a compliment. It's <laughs> hilarious though. I love it. There's a live action Dora Explorer now. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's a good one. That's yeah. brilliant. We need to thank like you. write the caption on our photo. Um, yeah. Thank just you. Took a, just, just call me photo. Dora. We just took this photo outside in the in the live studio, um, and we're hiding behind a bunch of leaves as if we're in a forest. Um, I, yeah. You can't really see it, but um, <laughs> so we'll just we, be Dora we, we and Bob. We look like explorers, yeah. Yeah. So that's that's so funny. Oh god, I should have rethought the overalls. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, yes. so this is, I'll pull this, and then from there again, ideal client scenario, I get everything. Let's say that I didn't get anything this this project, because that's just what happens most of the time. They're like, oh, can't you just like decide the fonts and colors? I'm like. Yes, that's very fun, but it takes more time. Yeah. Um, so what I've done, again, just to jumpstart this process, is um, I've just selected some colors that, like, I think of with, like, corn dogs and, like, <laughs> and yeah. just, you know, these me are, too. like, corn dog colors to me. Yeah. And um, just some <laughs> of my inspiration <laughs> photos. Okay. Um, just pulling some, you know, like, like I see, like, this red and this more retro, like, blues. Um, just things I associate with a more retro feel. Um, and then in terms of type, um, yeah, let's look so, at the type. Yeah. So again, I want to get y'all's feedback on kind of like what we might incorporate because, um, I've got nothing started on the visual design, mm, okay. um, but I like doing kind of like, like a mood board of type too. Um, even if it's something super quick, um, which one of these embodies as Dean called it, the oh corn dog aesthetic. Oh, that is so the hard. Dog. That's why there's so many um, on this page. Feel free to. Chime in and yeah, chat. Yeah, like what do you guys one of these think? What that, is a, that you particularly what like? What screams corn dog to you? Screams corn dog. I'm kind of liking the what what you have in the price seven twenty seven whatever. Yeah, that that's the house slant. Oh, um, I, I think I'm, there's I'm one on. Uh, I know. I love. It. That's what I was thinking. So I wanted to, and I'm a big mixer of type. Like I know there's that mm -hmm. rule. Like I don't even know the rule because. Uh, 
it's like you can only have like three styles of fonts or something in a design. Mm -hmm. Like I break that all the time. Um, it's okay to break rules as because, long as you know you're breaking the rule. I think like, yeah, it's fun, right? And I want I like using different things for different um, use cases. So Everyone I'm, likes how slant. Oh my god! It's and it's like one, the smallest right? one on that. I know, but wow. we got it. We got it a couple oh, times. Oh, okay. There's, there's. Okay, it's a little bigger. Okay, there we go. So yeah, so I was thinking like, um, I was thinking of using house slant because also house slant only comes in caps, so it might be like intense, Ooh, like everywhere. Okay. So I that was, is like a limiting factor for a tight exactly. Face sometimes. Exactly. That's yeah. why I like to test them out too before I kind of like jump into things because. Mm. You know, you gotta know like, oh, it has numbers. It like has punctuation correctly. Like, yeah, if yeah. it's all in one weight. Oh, uh, it just stinks when you have like the perfect typeface, but then it's like, oh, you don't have the, italics. You don't have like, yeah, or like that, these the, lifts the, or whatever. Like the pound sign. Yeah, like, oh, it kills me. Like, and then you like need it, right? Exactly. But, and sometimes as uh, web designers yeah. too, we get it really far down the chain where like nobody else has like laid out things like this, and then like. You're like, well, this font doesn't like really work in like laying out a paragraph yeah. or something. Yeah. Um, yeah. So anyway, so I did a little mood boarding. Um, I'm thinking of like maybe I don't know. I'm like this. I could spend all day just on this screen. Um, <laughs> Me too. <laughs> right. So I don't know. This is dangerous. Dangerous. It's very dangerous. But I was like maybe thinking yeah. of mixing like some Cooper Ooh, like and Cooper. some of yeah. this. Like maybe this is like really clean mm. titles. Mm -hmm. And then this is more like accent, maybe like accent like subtitle? Yeah, yeah. or like little like call outs. I could be like, you know, I could imagine us Almost creating like a little comic badge. Yeah. Like yeah, like great. You know, oh, like I love isn't it. that like so cute yeah. or something That's... like that. Um mm -hmm. and I wanted to mix like hand. I don't know. I like anal like mixing kind of analog and digital stuff. That's what a lot of the stuff we do at our studio is. Yeah. Um, and so, so we'll see where we go. Uh, so yeah, I've just kind of pulled these aside because I think if I was doing this live, like it would take me like four hours to get to this stage. <laughs> um, but so, I think that's a great place to start. Yeah. Uh, everyone really loves, um, you know, the house, house slant, slant in the yeah. chat. We're getting some serious okay, love. We need for to house slant, we need so. to have some house slant in there yeah. then. Oh, Cooper house LT slant is, great is I think yeah. um, it's about house industries, and I think they re they released it as a open source um, font. So Whoa. go go and grab it, guys. Um, nice. uh, so yeah. So what we're gonna do is. Cool. So you guys kind of got like the general aesthetic we're going for, right? Like maybe. Yeah. Um, I think we. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Like carnival, corn dog, like fun, funky. Um, so mm -hmm. great. So now, what do we do? I don't corn know. Corn dog cart. I love all the alliteration. I'm oh, a corn huge dog fan cart. of alliteration. Right. So. so what you're what we're gonna be working on carnival, today? Corn dog cart. Okay. Corn yeah. Corn dog it. Corn, <laughs> corn dog. Okay. Crispy. Yeah, um, we're working on this web page. This yeah, is a web page, yeah. Yes, we're gonna okay. work on a web page. Um, I'm just gonna start a new artboard because I, I like usually I have my wireframes in a separate uh, file all together. Yeah, but for the purposes of this, yeah, just, they're all together. Just, yeah, just so yeah. we don't we're not navigating between different files. So um, I think as a designer too, it's uh, hard sometimes when you see a wireframe to then like our gut instinct is to kind of like stick to it. Um, but I try to, at least with like the initial exploration, like mm -hmm. try to break out of it a little bit. Although, you know, I mean, websites, you know, kind of have a, we're all following the grid and all that. Absolutely. Um, so um, what I'm gonna go ahead and do is just start like, so yeah, you guys, we have nothing, I've got nothing designed here. <laughs> so the next hour we'll be working on this homepage. That's okay. And keep chatting in the chat. In, a, in about just over a minute, we have our chat and win countdown. Um, so you have the chance to win some stickers from, uh, you know, uh, sticker mule, I believe, and you can, uh, you know, customize those, and, and it's a really fun prize. So stay active in the chat. We'll get there. We'll get there in about a minute. So what's what's your first step here? Um, so what I'm gonna do is I like just um, oh actually what I like to do with the home page is um, I like to kind of lay out the nav with some mm -hmm. of the select fonts just to kind of like give me I don't know some sort of like grounding um, and I don't know when when it's just like gray and with yeah. Regular fonts, I'm like, I can't, I don't you, know. You where need I'm to going. give it some pizzazz. Um I also like to just plug in an image, like, yeah. that I might be thinking about. What image are you thinking? Oh, uh, so going back to uh, our corn dog conversation, yeah. <laughs> um, I pulled this corn dog image from, um, actually, it was, it was just, uh, so. A lot of times, again, I get nothing from clients. I'm like, okay, I guess we're supposed to be like a magician and just like make something up. It's got a transparent background. Right, I How edited great. the background out. How glorious. <laughs> I, got, I know. You guys see my Adobe library is just corn dog That's content full. right okay. now. And um, we're going to take a break from oh, cool. our corn dogs to do the chat and win 
countdown. Great. So we, we want everyone to go crazy in the chat um, because one of you is going to win uh, some stickers from Sticker Mule, uh, a special, special uh, prize for you. So go crazy, go crazy. Uh, tell us how you like your corn dog. If you've had a corn dog before. Yeah, uh, have you had a corn dog? <laughs> Um, oh my gosh! There's there's so many different avenues. House slant. House Everyone slant really corndog. likes house slant. It's a it's a typeface. That's also a corn dog. Yes. Yeah. What? No. I don't know. What? <laughs> Should our corn dog <laughs> just? Be And we're back! Oh my gosh! Look at all the the chats coming through. <laughs> just, uh, <laughs> just this corn dog, corn dog. People just, you know, it's my dream know come true, guys. I love the people that just don't know what to say, so they just say corn dog. <laughs> like, That's exactly do you like corn what dog? you should say. <laughs> and the response is corn dog. <laughs> it's so so great, awesome. So we will have one lucky winner um, in just a moment here. Um, wow! Oh my gosh! Dylan says swim. Swim? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> um, wow, chat and uh, okay, wow. People wanted us to come back. Um, we see People the we see the chat just like a tad. Dora and Bob the Builder oh, yeah. back again. Yeah, and so we have a winner, Jersey Pop. Jersey Pop. Which I believe, if if I remember correctly, this is your first live stream. How exciting! Oh like, yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, first, I remember. First time watching. That's that's what Jersey said uh, when tuning in. So like that's super exciting. You won some stickers, so be on the lookout for that Ooh. from Sticker Mule. Um, uh, you can upload your own design and do like whatever you'd want. But we also have a discount for everyone else that did not win. Uh, you can get for just, I think it's for a dollar or something, you get 10 custom stickers. Um, get a not bad. Sticker. And so you're gonna wanna go to that link. <laughs> so, um, oh, uh, oh. Adobe Live 19. That's stickermeal.com slash Adobe Live 19. Now, <laughs> the more important topic here is the transparent background on the coin. Yes, this is a real transparent background. <laughs> Not a fake transparent okay. background. And you have lots of other assets too. Yes. Um, so what I did, I went to Adobe Stock. Um, I pulled an image of a corn dog um, because mm. that's going to be our subject today. Um, I just did a slight edit. I removed the background with my limited Photoshop editing skills. That's and, all you need. Yep. And I added a yellow background. Oh because my gosh. I actually maybe we should keep it transparent so then I can use the yellow background you could, on, on on Adobe. But you're XD. a little you're a little flexible in that yeah, regard. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe I'll but do that. I, yeah, that's I mean that's a good call. All I right. like that. So I dig let's that. do that. So I'm just gonna save this out. There's probably yeah. a better way to do this. But well, you could also I mean you have your library here and you can so also can save drag that it. Too. Can I just drag it yeah. in there? Whoa! It was as My easy as dragging. God. Whoa! Can you believe See, that? I'm very old school. I'm not really <laughs> good with technology, so when new features come out too, like I, I don't, yeah. I don't know yeah. how to use them. No worries. Um. So I think I can access my library here, right? You now. sure can. Okay. Great. Boom! Look! Look! So it's, it's gonna my... come. It's gonna come. Oh, come on. It's gonna come. You know, it's it's gotta do the cloud thing. There we go! Oh okay. my god! <laughs> So you dragged it as a oh, fill? Oh, I just dragged it fill. into my fill. So Got if you don't want it, it as a fill, I can just then, drag it yeah. like over here. Oh, <laughs> Look how my. big. Guys, do you guys realize how large this corn dog image is? This, this is, is so crisp. This is so crisp every and salty. Ret every retina and screen look at that. with all those pixels will be look how crispy fully, this corn dog is. fully representing the crispiness of this corn dog. Right? And that's what designs. my client wanted. You that's know, what your he client really wants to focus. One of those words was crispy, right? Crispiness, saltiness, yeah. sweetness. Absolutely. Yeah. So I'm just going to start like playing around with um, bringing in like a color background. So, oh my god. Sorry, yeah. Look at the look at that yellow. Wow. Wow. It it's really popping here. Yeah, it is popping. So, okay. And we're going to make a composition, you know, with the corn yeah. dog. We have we have a like this 45 degree angle, which yeah, is kind of we'll, active, you know. Yeah, maybe we'll um, uh, turn it a Oh, little. whoa. Okay. 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 <laughs> I mean, Guys, this, you're on I this really, journey with me. I don't know I, where this is going. We're all on this. Everyone. Even in the Everybody chat is, is on this, here on this, is this journey. journey. Um, okay. So yeah, let's say like, um, get your corn dog. Oh, absolutely, get your corn dog. And again, as a web designer, we often have to also be copywriters, um, which yeah. is bad for our clients, but because <laughs> I am not a copywriter. Yeah. Um, but often, again, like clients have a hard time responding to things um, until you kind of show them something. Yeah. Um, so okay, so. 
How about you keep keep jamming on yes, this? I want to show you. something Go. on my screen, which Perfect. is that um, in about an hour, uh, you see this little countdown below, right down here in the corner. Um, we are we are going to give live feedback to um, designers that um, have submitted their work through Discord, and so there is a creative daily challenge going on. Um, which is a new challenge every single day. Uh, this one is focused on XD and designing experience design, uh, you know, experiences. And there's today's challenge is for voice triggers. You can also submit uh, if you have a challenge from yesterday on responsive resize for like designing uh, like a space application form um, in Discord. Feel free. There's like if you want to sign up for Discord if you don't know what that is. So we're on behance.net/challenge/xd. And that's where you can tune into this, chat with the community. That's where you can get on Discord. The community is always chatting on here, which is just a really, we're having a blast. And people are sharing their designs. And so in an hour, if you'd like to get your design in, uh, paste it into the current Dash Challenge channel on Discord. And we'll give you feedback live here, whether it's corn dog related or not. Yeah, this, <laughs> um, it does not have to be corn um, dog related. And we'll, we'll give you uh, what we like, what we don't like, and some uh, hopefully critique that helps us grow to become better designers. Um, and so it'll be good stuff. Yeah. So if you if you'd like your designs, uh, you know, reviewed, hop it hop in there. So we're very nice. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But we we're nice, but we also want to help you get better. Yes. You know. Um, we, so yeah. So. Uh, now, now we're back into the corner. Oh God, back you guys can see now. Game. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know. I didn't know. It's all good. It's all good. Um. So yeah, what I'm doing now is just kind of freestyling. You know, I think at an early stage of any homepage design, like, um, kind of. I like weird stuff, so mm. like you know, I'm not afraid to get a little weird. So again, like you know, all we got was this basic image of a corn. Well, actually, we got nothing from our client. Nothing from the nothing client. from the client. Yeah. Um, so just trying to think about like how I can jazz it up um, using like I just drew this pic uh, shape really quick in Illustrator, like with my pencil tool, and then dragged it in and just continued uh, editing the path. In that'll carry over right from yeah, Illustrator just, in XD. That's kind of like I just the, dragged it right in. That's kind of the really nice. Aspect of working within the Adobe products, they they all talk to one another. Yeah. And uh, David saying he likes that XD is easy to use, and I'm I'm glad you're um you're enjoying using XD. It's pretty straightforward. Um, as a, as a one of the designers on the product uh, on our team here in San Francisco, I, that makes me really happy to hear. Oh yeah, Sam is on the XD <laughs> team, so he designs what. This this gets really meta. So the the design team at Adobe for XD uses XD to design XD with XD. Did you get did you catch that? <laughs> so we're using this software to design the software itself and it gets very meta and it's very entertaining and sometimes you'll hit like the the repeat grid button on your design and you meant to hit it on the real like it just gets so <laughs> cuz you're just designing an app within an app or you make you're making a prototype within a prototype of a prototype. Yeah. So lots of things going on with um, appception, as Kerwin says. Oh, appception. Yeah, that's, that's a good one. Good one. Um, and so we are bringing in those two typefaces. Yeah, so I've brought in um, Cooper. Brought in Cooper, nice. And again, this is I'm seeing this as kind of an initial exploratory phase, so I might switch things around. Yeah. Um, but yeah, this is where I could like spend like 4,000 hours, but I'll 4, try to 000. move quickly. 4,000 yeah. hours. Well, I timed myself. Um, and you got to 4,000 hours? No, thank oh, okay. God. That would, my business would not be profitable. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, good point. <laughs> I think for every homepage uh, concept, like first round, I spend around like 8 to 12 hours. Um, so like that obviously won't get through much today. Um, of course, yeah. But, this is a start. Yeah. And you will be back tomorrow. Yes, I'll be more. back tomorrow. And, so, and we'll yeah, what I'm planning to do is just like get, you know, some pieces in place today and then show you guys how I might translate the design into mobile tomorrow mm -hmm. with Adobe, uh, what is yeah. it? The resize. Responsive, Responsive resize. resize. Yeah. Um, so, okay, so for this, uh, now I want a different body font, guys. So, what should we bring in for here? The body font, yeah. okay. Okay. Get I don't know. Also, guys, if there's any copywriters in the group, like, come on, like, <laughs> this, I am struggling with uh, okay. a headline. Get the best corn dogs ever. Or like I the kinda... only. Or corn... get your corn dog on. Get oh. 
corn dog. How do you spell? Because like I like the name of your of your company is corn dog it. So it's like plug in the logo. It's almost as if it's like you gotta like corn dog it. Yeah. So you gotta get your corn dog on to corn dog it. Yeah, corn dog it. Exactly. I mean, Oop. right? <laughs> what, that makes what, sense to me. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's great. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, right. I'm I'm digging that so far. I think get your corn dog on. Yeah. I like it. Does it? Yeah. No. Either way. Yeah. The line break is slightly. Yeah. You know, we'll. Slightly great. I'm digging this shape that you put in the background. This is very oh, hip right now. Just kind of like, like I these know. Everybody shapes. asks for freaking but then curves I like how right it's, now. I like how it's like circle on one side. And I also think like you know. It looks like, like it's it's like actually like I'm holding it. Look, I'm holding it. Yeah. Oh, oh, you're holding it. <laughs> and it's like swooping through the air. Do you oh, see also, that? like, I think, um, what was I going to say? Uh, like, you know, like ketchup and mustard. You know, we had those mm. squiggles we were yeah. talking about earlier. Oh, this would be nice if it had some ketchup and mustard. Love life, eat um, corn dogs is Andre's oh, suggestion. Oh, my God. <laughs> Love life, eat corn dogs. See, and it works well with the line break. It does. It does. And then maybe I can tuck Andre, like a... Andre, you, you win the, the content writing section. Seriously. The, yeah. my, I, I warn my clients. I'm like, I'm a bad copywriter. Please do not hire me for copywriting. <laughs> um, Paco just said, client, colon, there's something missing with this app. You need to... Corn dog, dog it. it. <laughs> I want like a stamp. It's like corn dog it. Oh, yeah. Oh, right there. Corn yeah. dog it. Absolutely. No, that's too long. Okay. Hits the corn dog button, says Greg. Okay. Yes, exactly. I mean, we can keep going on this for Right. This forever. is what uh, we talked about this for an hour earlier. Oh, absolutely. Um, so, I don't know. Let's let's do you guys have any suggestions for um, uh, introducing the first corn dog food cart? Food, not food cart. Not a food, food cart. Not ideal. In San Francisco serving <laughs> Oh god, serving San Francisco and beyond. And, and be oh, the of Bay course. Area. And the Bay Area, okay. Oh god, guys. Everyone, this I mean, is our we job yeah. as. Yeah. As some web designers. Did you see how. If only clients understood. The, the, the difficulty. The, 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 of, you know, the. Corn dog copywriting. Yeah, it's really, Alliteration it's really challenging. Is key. Um, all right, so I'm gonna spend some okay. time, maybe like. Okay, I'm thinking. And this is like an announcements bar yeah, up there? Yeah, okay. I'm thinking though maybe like, um, oh god. Uh, what was I gonna say? Sorry, I'm really yeah. bad at this multitasking. This is where you like, ex press accept for our cookies. Like, oh, all yeah. those things are so... <laughs> this is corn those. dogs, not cookies. I hate those. Um. Um, also, Howard Pinsky is in the chat. Hello. Um, another fellow Adobe live streamer. Cool. Um, makes, makes great videos. Uh, he made videos way back when on how to use Photoshop. This is before he worked at Adobe. And like me in high school watched his videos. <gasps> he's like famous to, to you? Yeah, yeah. Well, he's actually famous too, oh, he's I actually, would say. Sorry. Oh <laughs> sorry. Sorry. Not just famous to me. He's actually famous. I think famous. he's great. Anyway, um, so I learned Photoshop from Howard. That's awesome. Um, and now I work at Adobe and he works at Adobe too. So it's like, it all kind of comes around. What a fun, like kind of, what a fun little circle. The Adobe family feels very strong. It was my first time oh, at Adobe, it's really but um, In everyone's fact, been lovely. Yeah, and so I went to school across the street. I love saying I love having this little detail, but I, I went to I went to school like like out the door, and you can see like out the door of the studio, you can see my school, and a bunch of other uh, Adobe designers also graduated from my school, which is California College of the Arts. So we have like a little community going of of CCA folks as well. Um, I'm loving the little icon, the little icon right, version I don't of the, know where he's going to live, but I'm like, um, uh, or maybe this is the cursor. Oh, oh my god. Oh heck yeah. Oh my god, can you imagine if you're like on this site? And oh. I feel like it would have to be going the other way. Yeah, the you're right. Let's, let's flip right? them. Negative. It could oh, also be a nice footer. Oh my god. Yeah, a, nice a little footer. icon in the footer. Yeah. Um, for right now though, imagine guys, as you scroll on this page. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Because everyone misses custom cursors. <laughs> Dude, I feel like they're. Pages. I feel like they are coming back. Are they really? I don't know. I'm Can down. Can you guys back me up on that? I'm, I mean, why not? Why not? I um, custom, especially if it's a corn dog, like. Right. Yeah. Well, yeah. I love this feature on XD. Oh yeah. <laughs> and it's so basic. It's a, but I it's love a it. good one. And you can hold down uh, command or is it option and just do just do one. a single one. Yeah. Oh my God. That's a fun pro tip if you didn't know. You can adjust the individual corners. With, with the uh, modification key. All right, so. It's a fun, it's a fun thing. Again, we want to make sure. Our go to action button. 
Yeah, we which web pages tend to have like these big go to action buttons, call Other, to action. Yeah, otherwise your web page right. is doing nothing. And you know, people think it's so obvious and they're like, oh, but like, no. Everyone, I always tell my clients, if you have three seconds for your customers to do something on your site, like what do you want them to do? And tell them to do it, because otherwise they will not do it. Exactly. Um, and you have like one thing, no yeah, decision paralysis thing. going on, right? Like, I know, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be bad though, because I'm gonna put two. But. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. But one of them is going to be like primary. Yeah, one's going to be primary. And one's going to be secondary, exactly. right? So you'll you'll notice exactly. what what you do here. The yeah, there'll, there'll be some slight changes you make. So um, I don't know. Yeah. Again, guys, I could spend like two hours on the type. Did you ever have MySpace? We do Val's talking oh about MySpace. Oh my god! Well, I had. So <laughs> my thing was Zanga. Did anybody have a Zanga, or is everyone not Zanga? old enough? Is that like Zynga, like the no, games? Guys, no, that's no. different. Oh okay. my god, it was before <laughs> Sorry, MySpace, okay. um, and uh, you could customize your Zynga, and you could do that with MySpace too. Like okay. add like animated backgrounds, like music playing when you went on your website. That's honestly like the first, I think, the beginnings of my. I didn't. I, I thought I was gonna go to law school, guys. I didn't think I was gonna be Whoa. a designer. Big change. Um, yeah. So, uh, but yeah, if I look back on it now, it all makes sense because I was like, oh, that's what I spent my time doing as a kid, like. Customizing my Zanga page. Um, yep, totally. But and not studying law. Um, you, you know what? You know what? I where it surfaced for me. Yeah. Was like Zoo Tycoon or like Sim City. I would be like designing yeah. these cities. Yeah. Yeah. And it's like, oh, of course now I'm a designer. Yeah. Like I loved that doing. That was the funnest that's part. That's design. Like I didn't even realize. Or like, did anyone use Kid Picks? Which is basically just Photoshop, I don't but know for what kids. Kid picks is. It's this. Oh my I feel, gosh! I think I'm old. I think I'm. Imagine too Photoshop, old. but all the buttons are like huge, uh, and they all make a sound, <laughs> like a plop, like as soon as you hover on everything. That sounds maybe great. Maybe someone, maybe someone from the chat knows Kid Picks. Um, but it's it's basically Photoshop for kids. It's not a. It's not owned by Adobe, but <laughs> um, maybe they should. I mean, maybe who knows? Um, it's it was that was totally like my onboarding. Like, oh my god. <laughs> As like a fifth grader, yeah. I think I used Photoshop pretty early, but I mean, and that's why when people ask me like, oh, how do you use certain things? I'm like, oh, just kind of randomly figure things out. Yeah, um, I mean, it's working. Look, so we have a okay. primary button, uh, the secondary, secondary button, button which know. is like the thing that we also do, but like. Yeah, because we again, were, back yeah. to our client goals, right? He said, I want to make sure people know that we offer a catering business and we want to drive business to catering. Mm -hmm. So um, you want to be just going back to those goals um, and as you're as we're still having fun. That's great. Um, OK, but see now on this corn dog, I want to This is really add, shaping up, by the way. I is it, it. Is yeah. it shaping up? I it don't is. know. It is. This is like, again, guys, it takes me a really long time, but I'm trying to move fast here for you. No, I, I think you're. You're going perfectly well. Don't worry. Cool. Um, so yeah, what are y'all's uh, favorite um, foods? <laughs> oh my gosh, someone's saying, Ruel is saying, I use paint for UI, UX. Hey, why, <laughs> whatever paint. works for you. I mean, I'm sure you could. You can make it work. You can no, make anything work. that's what work. I tell people. You know, people always ask, like, what tools do you use? And tools are great, but it also yeah. just comes down to how you want to use them. And yeah. whatever, I always tell people, whatever you're the fastest in. Absolutely. I mean, in the end, like, the, the tools, how you how you get there, as long as the tool's not impeding your work. Yes. Um, that's, there are things that make your work oh easier. Oh my gosh, this, someone tweeted uh, a while, a few, like a week ago or so, like it's the golden age for design tools. It's like, it because is, there are is. so many design tool competitors, like, and trust me, I know as a designer on the XD team, like um, it, it only ends up being the best for the designers because uh, we're doing, we're fighting on the on the battle front, <laughs> like to yep. make to integrate like the features that you all want and to make it all as easy as possible to use. And so, but, you um, know, everyone has their own like what. Yeah, exactly. What they like about. Yeah, and programs. if you if you can jam in something, if you can jam in Photoshop to design user experiences, like I would sure. not recommend it. I mean, you can. <laughs> well, what's great is that you can uh, bring in your Photoshop. Into. You can open PSDs in Photoshop, so you know you can always make the transition. Um, yeah, we, we try we try to make it as easy as possible. Um, Albert says udon noodles. I don't know what that was. Um, oh, favorite! I think I asked favorite foods oh. or something like that. <laughs> oh, that's oh udon's great. Udon's great. I love that. So, would you guys eat a corn dog if you haven't eaten a corn dog before, based yeah, on what like, you guys are seeing? Yeah, here? based on your. I'm really curious about the people that haven't. Yeah. More than the people that have, actually. <laughs> um, like, what? What's? 
What's going through your mind when you see this image? If you were to land on this web page, yeah. would you stay on or would you leave? Would you hit find us? Would you be like this? I need to try this. You I think know, it's not clear. It's a food cart yet, but um, you know. I wish we had a photo of yeah, yeah. of the food truck, but it is a We're fictional. We're working with what we've got here. <laughs> it is a so. fictional brand, so. Join me. <laughs> Ruel says chicken adobo, oh, favorite food, which oh, is yeah. funny because at Adobe sometimes they serve ado chicken adobo at Adobe, which is just chicken adobe. <laughs> adobo at ad Adobe. Adobo at Adobe. Crispy. But in a corn dog. <laughs> exactly. No, just, oh, oh did he say that? Oh my god. Yeah. yeah. Or he said something else, but um. So I'm just starting to play around again, like jazzing it up a little, like, you know, quirky and fun was like one of our clients' words. So yeah. I'm going in using some um Ooh. like, you know, handwritten typefaces. What is this? This is Providence Providence Sons. I got a shout out to my business partner Jess for finding this a few weeks ago because I'm like it's I don't quirky. usually like um hand like drawn typefaces, um, but like this one's just so cute. It is, it is cute. I dig it, I dig it. Hand handwritten typefaces are very difficult to pull off. Yeah, it really is. And like, you gotta use them in balance, right? Like just cause, and now, you know, we've already broken the rule of mixing like a billion fonts. So I'm, I'm people are probably cringing. The person in the chat, hour, uh -huh. who just every every like fifteen minutes or so just says crispy. <laughs> <laughs> that's but see, this is working. Like, and that's the is, only thing I've seen. <laughs> this is what our client wants people to know. Crispy, crispiness right? is very and it's right there. important. Everyone knows. Yeah, uh, I also like absolutely like lining things up to grids, even though everyone's got to have a grid. Yeah, it's like, and people ask me what grid I use. I don't even know what grid I use, but I always use this grid. It is a grid. And That's I just grid. like lining up my type. I don't think it matters like as to, much what grid you use, as, as long, long as, as you, you are kind of using. Stick to one. I mean, yeah, grid. yeah. Right. And I ask developers that too. I'm like, do you care what grid? And they're like, no, I don't really care. We'll just do it. Yeah. Yeah. The fact that like, look, look at these like text elements. How they're all lined up on the left. Um, you know, that's 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 what we're talking about when we're talking about alignment. We're talking about. Later on, when you have different columns, yeah, things are fitting into those columns. You know, you don't have any straggling elements. You know, you do want right. to make sure things are following the grid. So I'm just gonna keep going on this page. I don't know how this is gonna shape up. Yeah, Cooper. we could have a mission statement there, and yeah. then it looks like maybe like, some on like, a mission. Oh too. yeah, uh, on a mission to provide battered goodness oh, yeah. to. Uh, Bay Area to uh, to to. <laughs> this is what to, copywriting is really like. <laughs> mm. Help us, chat yeah. room. <laughs> come on, guys, come up with a mission statement. For this That's is great. great. Crowdsourcing copy is great. Oh, it, I mean, yeah. I spend hours just like. I mean, because you have I don't know how many people are watching, but we have a ton of people watching, yeah. and like, we have the minds of all of them working guys, collectively can you, can in we our do favor. This every day? <laughs> Um, yeah, and so is the position of this corn dog truck tracked in, in real yes, time? Yes, it will be tracked. So wow. what I was thinking, like here in an ideal scenario, we would have like a like a map and like a little maybe like a little truck icon or something that like um, what do you say like moves you know like yeah. tracks the thing. Yes. Um, but also we want to give users like we want to we want them to know that we want them to know where we will be if there is a schedule. So I wanted to create some sort of like find us, you know, by the days of the week kind of, yeah. I don't know, area. Yeah. Good. Okay, to create, okay, whatever, to San Francisco. Cool, Howard Pinsky is envisioning a commercial. Yes. He says, I see a commercial shaping up. A man standing in a solid <laughs> yellow room, bites into a corn dog at corn dog, stares into the camera, crispy. Exactly, <laughs> guys. This is. I, I was. I think I told you guys this, this is a fictional oh business, God. but we really want this to be a real business. Voodoo Val replied, "Plot twist: It's the corn dog talking." Oh no! <laughs> we got into cannibalism. Oh, oh no. no! Oh no! Yeah, that would be. Wow, that would really be something. So, right if, guys, if you if we open this in San Francisco, I'm expecting all of you to come and come and find us and eat a corn dog. Oh, absolutely. I mean. That's just table stakes. Yeah. Okay. But not actually stakes. No, not stakes. <laughs> because we're talking about corn dogs here, just to be clear. Find us. Find us, okay. Um, awesome. We're keeping up that quirkiness, exclamation points. Yeah. Fun colors. Find us, yeah, we're, so we're out 
out with the old typeface, in with the yeah, new. Yeah, in with the new. And again, I think there's some danger here. Like sometimes I don't Ooh, like working. What's the like, well, I don't like sometimes working right off my wireframe because oh. I just then start to like stick to the wireframe, and yeah. I don't. That's not really my intention. Um, but you know, for the sake of this exercise, we'll keep doing that. That's okay. Because otherwise, yeah. I'll spend forever drawing a rectangle and re-racing the rectangle, and it it can be easy to get distracted sometimes. For the wi wireframing phase, uh, designers will just you know yes. get out their trusty notebook and uh, draw it. For sure, for sure. Draw the rectangles because then you're not thinking about the drop shadows. You're not thinking about the tight face. You're you're literally only thinking about composition, hierarchy, mm -hmm. um, just like content. Very flow. very high level, high level information, which is what you want to be tackling at the beginning of a design process. Mm -hmm. Save the details. Whoop, <laughs> save the details for later. Um, and, and you don't want to get too tied into. I think it's hard. Us to, sometimes clients will see something in a wireframe phase, and they're and when we get to the visuals and we've like switched over ideas, they'll be like, "Oh, can we have like what we did in the wireframes?" So that can also be a little tough. It can be tough, for sure. Yeah, they might get attached to something. And you're yeah, like, something uh, that they saw and yeah. that was not your do you, intention. Do you find yourself giving options to clients, oh. or do you be like? This is what I like, and I think it's good. Um, I am an option person. I had okay. actually a long discussion with this with uh, somebody yesterday, oh, actually okay. my husband yesterday. Um, but like, I like working with clients as if we're like creative partners, and um, you know they're part of the team. Now it takes a special kind of client, uh, but I don't know. I think design is a dialogue, and it's really hard to. Um, I mean, we do a lot of internal team reviews as well, but like. You know, just why is this? Is this grouped? Um, sorry, I can't talk while I'm designing. It's all good. Yeah, it's all good. I like Internal to show reviews. options, especially in the first round, um, just because I think even when I get brand guidelines, there's different ways we could take something, mm -hmm. and there's different elements that a client could respond to, and different things. So, like, I don't want to lock us down too much in that first round, yeah. and really yeah. treat this as exploratory. Although it is important when you are showing these designs to clients, like, show things that you do think are strong. Oh, because 100%. I think, because I think sometimes people can get stuck into like, oh, I'm just going to show like these other ones. I don't really like them as much, but really look at this one because yeah. I think it's the best. But if you're showing those other ones, they might actually kind of get attached to that, even though they're the ones that you don't like yeah. that much. And I've run into then, that so many times. Oh my That's gosh. a bad, like I, I do that and it's bad. Um, but I think when we present designs to you want to be very clear about like why you're presenting different versions and like what the differences are and what you want them to respond to. Like, I think it's hard when you're like, oh, hey, like here they are, like tell me what you think. Um, <clears throat> I'm, I'm loving the, Copy suggestions in the chat. Yes, oh my, Can I read please tell me. Yes, because okay. this is um, blank right now. Voodoo Val is got is just running with these. Okay, corn dog it. Where corny is cool. Oh yeah. <laughs> or, or uh, Dean Marty said, "Fun without the bun." Oh. <laughs> Oh my god, that is, you guys are so, you guys should be, are you guys copywriters? I oh, I like fun I'm without the it. bun. Fun without the bun. Way to go, Dean. That is killer. <laughs> I kind of like, ooh. What if that's like our tagline or something, you know? I, yeah, I'm down. Oh my yeah. god, that's so Who funny. let the corns out? Who? <laughs> Who, who. <laughs> did did everyone one. get that reference? Uh, if, if you don't, it's a song. It's yeah. Who Let the Dogs Out. Um, we don't like to just bark around. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. That's great. Oh, we got an address. Look. I, know, I don't know what that dress it's a, is. This is a very smart corn dog food truck. Like, it's got yeah, GPS dude, tracking. Yeah, this is San Francisco, got, guys. We can't. Oh, that's true. Everything in San Francisco needs to be high tech, of we course, can't. right? You got to be able to find the... Okay. Um, if people don't know how to find the corn dog, then you can't. There's no business. Yeah. So you gotta make sure, and that's why I put it like at the top of the page, you know, after our hero, because I think that's like the thing that um, people are gonna want to do the most. Yeah. Okay. Which wait. is important to understand user need when designing anything. It's mm -hmm. like, okay, the person that's going to see your design. It's hard to step into the shoes of the person that's going to use your design, but you really have to do research. You have to talk to these people to try to understand them as well as possible so that when you are designing for them and you're showing that you always show your designs to them in progress that you're you're fitting their needs right because uh, maybe you would think like the first thing that they should do is contact the corn dog uh, you know company but like 
you talk to the users and they find out, no, I don't care. I don't want to contact the corn dog company. Like actually what I want to do is find the location of, mm-hmm. of the truck, right? So people's intents will, will vary um, from what you as a designer uh, desire out of a design. So that's why constant feedback is going to be really crucial to your design process um, to stay on target. Stay on target with And that's intent. why I think, uh, yeah, I mean, yeah. I was going to say, that's one of the reasons why I like to, going back to like options thing too, like I think if there are different ideas that we want to like test or like, um, you know, different hypotheses we have, uh, then it's a good, you know, conversational, whether we're getting Mm. user feedback or maybe the client has a wealth of knowledge that we want, you know, they can share with us. Yeah. So, I mean, that that reminds me of something called A-B testing. Some of you may be familiar with what A-B testing is, but if you're not, it's this really fascinating uh, topic of um, basically an A-B testing is is where you have one design and you have a totally other design Mm -hmm. that's maybe slightly different in some capacity. Um, In fact, they might be similar. They might be very similar with which is one thing different or they might be totally different. Um, And then they're measuring some sort of behavior about this design and they like so it'll be like a web design let's say and uh amazon does this a lot so amazon will make one where they have a yellow buy now button and then they'll make another one where they where they have a blue buy now button and they show 50 percent of users yellow they show 50 percent of users blue and they're tracking how many people click the buy button and they're like oh well actually the yellow one performs a lot better makes us a lot of more money Mm -hmm. so um then then they'll go for that option so that's called a b testing um doesn't have to be just two options sometimes there are a multitude of of options, but it's a way for businesses to get uh, like number feedback, like quantitative, like data, yeah. quantitative feedback on all about how a design data. is performing. Um, so as a designer, you're making something um, and perhaps you do feel that one side of the design is stronger than the one that you think is weaker. You have to be able to argue mm-hmm. for why that design is big, bad, better. And so maybe you've shown it to people and you can tell the client like, mm-hmm. well, actually, I've shown this. I've shown this to five people, which is, you know, not a lot, but that's enough. That's enough to yep. get an early consensus. I've shown this to five people, and you know, the like the yellow one had like way better, overwhelmingly yeah. better usability. And so, like, I just I strongly believe, like, with that data to back you up, really helps you step up from just like, oh, I'm the artsy designer that yeah. thinks this looks good to it like. It can't be about you, I think, as a designer yeah. when you're working. And it's so hard because I think as a creative person, like everything we do feels very personal. Um, but, you know, our job as designers is to make recommendations to our clients or our teammates or whoever, you know, we're working with. Um, and in order to make recommendations, it can't really just be about like what I like. <laughs> yeah. What do you think about responsive corn dogs? Oh, oh, well, we're talking about mini corn dogs. <laughs> so I, oh my God, that, oh my God, that's such a great idea. Let's that's, that's add Nora's that to comment. the menu because yeah. like, what was I going to say? Maybe like, <laughs> I was going to say we should give you a size corn dog based on your size, but maybe that's a little discriminatory. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> um, but you could, you could make a corn dog in XD that does responsive resize yes. to change its size. Here, based- should we place with this? Uh, <laughs> should, I turn, should I turn this on? <laughs> well, I mean, well, so let's make, have it off, right? What yeah. if we had it off? Well, on just an image, it's not going to do much. Oh, okay, fine. We'll, um, we'll, 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 we'll responsive to resize. That. Yeah, don't worry about that right now. Responsive <laughs> resize is about changing the relationships and spacing and size of objects as a group and the and the relationships. So, right. So, if you're making this design for mobile or for web for the web page, then you can like size it down yep. and it will start to understand some of those relationships. And we'll get into that a lot more tomorrow too, I think. So be sure to come in tomorrow. For sure. Are those corn dogs or are they just I don't know. It's like thinking of like a pattern or something. Okay. Yeah. I like that. <sighs> Guys, this is the early, you guys are getting behind the scenes of early, like let's see what happens when I try <laughs> random things. Yeah. Yeah. I could almost see, you could actually make that with a repeat grid. Have you used yeah. repeat grid? No. Like, you okay, can here just, we go. Yeah, um, and then you can just drag it out oh, on one of those handles. Whoa. My God. Yeah, pretty neat feature. People love that one. Wait, that makes my life so much easier. Right? Yeah. And then they're all the same, so you can change oh, one and they all change. Oh my God. Right? XD for the win. Guys, that is some yeah. good stuff. 
That's awesome. Oh gosh, I wish I could tell all of you the, the awesome features coming to XD in the near future, but I just I just can't. We gotta talk about some of them. So <laughs> I'm very yeah. I am excited to see those. Yeah, lots lots of fun things coming for the future okay. of XD. This is not working. So we're awesome. gonna ditch that. Not working. I mean that's okay. Sometimes yeah, you find a lot things, of the things don't work. Guys. Sometimes you might spend an hour working on something and like and eh, nah. That happens just gotta delete all it. the time. Yeah. You just gotta ditch it sometimes. I know, sometimes you spend okay. a lot of time trying to make something work and it just doesn't. Yeah. Or it Don't leads force to it. something else. Yeah, it might. It might. It might, it might or not. <laughs> it might or not. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, let's bring this house slant back because people For really sure. liked house slant. I like that. I think I want to give a crack at, like, making a corn dog in XD with. Yes, oh my god, like, like, with responsive resize. Wait, I just want to. Let's hop over my screen. You're jamming on your design. Yes, just, yes, please. Since we have since we have some time here. You guys don't have to okay, watch my so painful. Let's, I'm I'm really curious. Just so you can get an idea of like what responsive resize is. So like, Paco, if we could jump over to my screen. I think. Oh, Paco's <laughs> not here. That's okay. Um, but we we will uh, we will we will jump into that later. No, you guys, sorry, you're stuck with me. <laughs> <laughs> no worries, it's all good. Um, but what you can do is you can you can make that uh, rounded rectangle shape, which is the corn dog. It is a rounded rectangle. That is yes. a corn dog. Yeah, um, we can try it. Um, and then and then you can add the stick on on the. Are you gonna do it? Yeah. Oh my I'm god. I'm not a great illustrator, so you're gonna have to. Walk That's okay. Me it just this. needs to be yellow. All right. And it, and rounded. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> oh, fill. We're making a corn dog, a digital. Oh corn my! Dog. It's kind of cute already. Right, I dig it. Oh my god! I really okay. dig it. And then, and then a put stick. a stick. Okay, we gotta get put a, a stick. stick. And we could save the mustard for later. Yeah, the mustard's a little hard. I'm not very good with curves. On. <laughs> yeah, curves can be tough. Yeah. All right. Oh no, too thick. Um, and then, um. I feel like I should. Basically, the you can group these elements. Let's go for it. And and resize Group. if we set so set the stick. So click on this the the black. Yeah. And then in responsive resize go to manual yep. and do fix height fix oh it's it's already yes. we're set up and yep. it's pinned to the bottom. And then the top one let's let's see what the settings uh, are. I we're see. looking at that right panel. Yeah. Where let's go to manual and let's Wait, do let me make sure this is the Let's one not this. do fix height. Okay. Uncheck fix height. And now resize the whole group. Exit and then Look, do it. Just it's do a responsive. It? It's a responsive corn dog. Oh my god. Well, okay. It should actually get longer too. Wait, try try not the corner, but just the middle, to make it longer. Oh, try this it. way. Yeah. This way. Oh, <laughs> this this stick's coming out. This you is can confused. you can play with those settings. Yeah. To and uh, to make get it them, fixed or something. Yeah. If you try, let's, let's try it. pin to the, the t top? top. Try the top. Sometimes this can be a little tricky. Oh, that's no. not what you want. Um, it's kind of cool though. Yeah. I mean, I really also see like behaviors. I feel like with just even playing around with it, you start to get some inspiration for like even like animations. Oh, like, for sure. I don't know. I mean, that's a whole yeah. other topic. I'm sure you guys have a chapter on. Yeah. Um, yeah. And in fact, you can actually put the the stick behind the corn dog yeah. that way. If, if the if this moves. Yeah. If it moves, then you don't really see it as much. Yeah. Oh my right. god. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my, it's a responsive so corn dog. It's a responsive oh, corn like dog. Oh, like a little baby corn dog. It'd be like a cake pop corn dog. Oh my god. <laughs> so cute. I want one. That's great. Oh, oh my, my god. god. <laughs> That's very cute. People watching are like, uh, what's are you happening? supposed to be designing like user interfaces? Or Guys, something? this is all part of user. I feel like what is a user <laughs> interface also has just you know, completely changed over the last few years of like, yeah. you can do so many wacky things on the web now, like, oh, yeah, just with animations, like interactivity, yeah. like, mm -hmm. it's thing, it's a wild, wild west out Absolutely. there. Absolutely. Jimmy says, oh. <laughs> Wait, are you allowed on screen? Yeah, we can show him. Oh my god. So, Look. this is Gus. The uniform? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> He's wearing the perfect oh, you're, 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 <laughs> colors for this app. <laughs> He walked in earlier today, and we were like, "You are so on brand right on now." On brand for the corn dog app. Jimmy said, "If the client asks, is it responsive?" You could be like, "Yeah, look at this corn dog. Yeah. I love that." <laughs> Let me show you just how it's responsive. Yeah, um, but yeah, it's interesting because clients want to make sure things are responsive, um, but often um, 
they, you know, they're not super versed in it, so they lean on you. So like, you know, you just yeah. tell them it's responsive, and then yeah. we figure it out. Of course, because <laughs> oh, because it, it has to be responsive. Like that's that's a no brainer. Like we never like. That's, that's just the default of designing. It is default. And I think when yeah. I'm designing too, I'm constantly thinking about like um, like how I imagine this might stack like or mm -hmm. move or like how these, like I was imagining like once this stacks on mobile, like this could, you know, be like across the top and like, or maybe this like scrolls. Like, you know, there's things I think I'm always thinking about even though it doesn't really show in the design. <laughs> uh, Ron says, if you're doing a jingle, I suggest ain't nothing but a corn dog. <laughs> Yes. Oh my God. So you this guys are great. chat is on fire <laughs> with this all is, these. Corn dog is a uh, is a good topic it's, for. Oh, it's. Yeah, I don't know why this bar great. is here, guys. I really want to make the stripe work, but I don't know. Maybe. Don't. Yeah. Oh. See, part oh, of part I of them is repeat. Yeah, 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 yeah. I kind of, it's kind of fun though. That's Look cool. at that. It's definitely carnival. -y. On the left, it's carnival. -y, yeah, the yeah, 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 yeah. Um. Wow. I so like if that. I wanted the okay, I have a question. Yeah. Uh, so if I wanted the repeat grid, mm -hmm. but like, if I wanted these to extend like I did on this side, is that possible? Or would I need to kind of create the long shapes? You can make the shape in the repeat grid longer, and then extend oh, the repeat grid it, down, it. and it it will so, be right because so, right now actually you can just change the spacing if you want. Oh, so if you click that. into that group, yeah. Um, do I do that? And then. Do I do it? Yeah, and then hover over the space between that vertical padding, right between here. lines that you want to get rid of. The one, yeah, oh, that, oh. that, and, and you I can just bring delete that, it? Just click and drag. Oh Boom. my god! Boom. Oh, that's really cool. And you can use that green handle. You can use the green handle on the bottom. Oh yeah, uh, yeah, yeah to, to make it extend it. Oh, oh guys, wow. we I am learning a lot of tricks here. Oh my god! So then I could also then. Can I make this bring, bring it over to the left. Yeah, and then, and then just drag just it out, to the, it out right. to the right. Oh, Look at that. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, that's I pretty love cool. It. Oh my gosh. We have lots of people from the Adobe Live team joining us, which is just Hi, fun. Guys. So Sam's in here, Voodoo Val's in here, Howard Pinsky is in here, of course, Paco, uh, who's producing with us <laughs> live. Um, oh my gosh. And then Gus, who just made a cameo. <laughs> like, you've seen the whole team now. <laughs> it's great. Right. Good stuff. Um, Martin's asking if we're being sponsored by Big Corn. Oh, guys. Big Oof. Corn Inc. AKA we Monsanto. Are not. <laughs> um, but I don't know. Can, can do we have any no, like we're not No, sponsored. we are not. Oh yeah, that is that if that was not clear. We are not. <laughs> this is a fictional it's a fictional brand. It's a fictional I brand. I really dig this. Right? It's kind of working, with the background right? And then like the body kind of part of it, like Right? I was like, oh, all right, yeah. it's like getting somewhere. Guys, design. <laughs> design. This is design. This is design. <laughs> <laughs> I want a shirt. This is this yeah. is design. Yeah, absolutely. Um, Salvatore says um, corn subsidies is real, which yeah, it is. You can invest that's in corn if you like. Definitely real. Sure, why not? You know, why not? Awesome. You can just invest in yellow things. You can invest <laughs> in corn. You can invest in gold. What are some other yellow things? Is you there can like invest a yellow in? fund? <laughs> there should be a yellow mutual fund. Does anyone know about investing here? Um, you can find the yellow, yellow. <laughs> it's like, I really believe in the future of yellow. Just, as a I totally believe in yellow. <laughs> I am a yellow, yellow oh, fan. Yeah. We yellow, talk about yeah. at Shop Theory a lot, how our like, um, spirit color is yellow. I, I just, oh really? Yeah. That's good. It's a happy color. Yeah. For it's sure. It's a great color. I bought an espresso machine recently as a, as a present to myself for graduating, and it's it's this color yellow. <gasps> yeah. Yay! It's, it's like who doesn't like it's this? It's very color retro. Yellow. In fact, it fits the corn dog th corn dog thing yeah. very well. Oh my actually, gosh, it's so. slowly moving along, guys. Thanks um, for uh... Greg says getting so many pop art vibes right now. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. I think that's that's part of the vibe that that we're going right? for. Right. The here. weird carnival vibe. Yeah. And you know, like I think when I think about like you know, just ex web experiences, like with something as simple as a corn dog site, yeah, we could throw something up, you know, just like picture of a corn dog, whatever. I mean, that's kind of what this is. But yeah. you know, it's like with especially a simple business, like you have the opportunity to like really make it, you know, have a personality because oh, yeah. the, like because what we're asking them to is so simple, right? We're asking them to find us or like learn about catering, and like it's not like we're asking them to fill out some complex, you know, like. It's not, this is not like a medical app or something. So why not have a little fun with it? You know, there's Have fun there's with no, the vision. Yeah, no... especially for something like this, right? Yeah. Definitely. Corn dog. Uh, Voodoo Val, thanks for the reminder. 16 minutes, just under that, until we are going over some live 
critique feedback oh, uh, for boy. the design That's challenges. Fun. So uh, be sure to uh, go to behance.net slash challenge slash XC. You can see some of the challenge material there. Um, submit your design for Discord, which you can also find more information about on there as well. Um, we'll give feedback to some designers that submit their designs in Discord. Um, I want to see y'all's designs. Yeah, Let's I, do I it. really want to see everyone's design. I was looking through that earlier. These these people are they really they're really onto something. <laughs> the, Is it I, the I'm space theme? No, what, what are we the, looking so there at was, today? There was um, so yesterday's challenge was designed to design like this page for NASA, where you could apply to a job. Yes. For NASA. Yes. Like what? Okay, first of all, what a cool concept. Like I'm using and the second, repeat grid again. Whoa! Oh, sorry, Perfect. I just need to get your approval. It. This is great. <laughs> yeah, no, absolutely. Oh, is that um, It's like a little social? social fee. Oh, yeah. You know, everyone likes corn dog, or everyone loves absolutely. corn dog. So here's what's a great instance of like how repeat grid is just like killer. So if you have, as a designer, a folder of images that are the images that would fill yeah. these boxes. Yeah. And you select all of them, you just drop it into one and it will auto populate Can I try each that? image. If you have a bunch of images well, it's, in a folder, my, my, uh, perhaps just. Uh, should I just dump a couple in a folder? Just select all of them. Okay. Just select the ones that you want. Okay, let's see. And then just drop Good. them in. I, don't, I can do I don't think like they a need group? To be, I don't think they need to be in a folder. But yeah, you can do a bunch and you just drop it in and it'll automatically like. All right, let's try it. Um, so I can just, just do that? Yeah. Oh, oh, okay, you need more. You need some more. Right, I need some you, more, you, you but that's pretty there, but awesome. But it automatically populate in there, so. Oh, that's so cute. So if you have like this library of, of photos, um, you could just drag them all in. Oh. Same with text. So if you have a, a TXT file, just simple text um, of like a list of names, every return key of oh, that wow. text file, you can pop that onto a text object in a repeat grid. And each one will populate with. Oh, no. uh, try I try the first. Try dropping onto the oh, first one here instead of um, yeah, and then it'll just repeat with each round. Maybe oh, okay. I'm not so you actually the right images. so you actually have oh, two. Oh, I have, you have two. two. That's why. Yeah, 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 yeah. So delete the second one. Yeah, yeah. And then just change your spacing. Oh, yeah. oh wait. How do I change my spacing? Yeah, there. Uh, yep. Yeah, oh. yeah. And then you can extend can it out, extend and it'll it get again. it'll get bigger, oh, and it'll my, fill. My, yeah. My. Yep. Boom! That Look at is that. so fun! Oh my gosh. And that's so, just also a nice yeah. quick way to get things on there because I think as a designer too, sometimes I have like decision paralysis and I'm like, oh, this is not the right image, this is not the right image, and then I spend like two hours doing that. <laughs> but it, now it's yeah. just on there. Content's hard. There's some plugins actually, feel yes. free. So it, there's one of those uh, things in the top bar, plugins. Uh, feel free to search in the plugins. There are some that give you images, free stock images. Yeah. Uh, it'll add it right into your design. Um, we're gonna showcase some fun plugin stuff tomorrow, actually. Oh, so, cool. Yeah, um, uh, because there is an announcement happening. Oh. Just, you know, that's just the down low. Uh, something related to plugins. Scope. Um, yeah, and so we're, we're going to dive into some plugin things tomorrow, just to showcase, like, what's new in the land of Adobe XD, right? Um, Carl is hungry, and Me Carl also wants corn dog bagel bites. Oh. Which, which are a thing, if, if you don't They're know. a thing? Yeah. Well, yeah, they're well, like the I bagel the, outside and then the corn dog on the inside. It's like a, it's like a pig in the blanket? Yeah. Oh, okay. But, but bagel. But bagel? <laughs> bagel. Bagel is the batter. Um, what? Ruel asks, will fr XD be free forever? Yeah, I, I, I'm pretty sure we plan on, I mean, like, I'm not at the, the <laughs> tier of, like, management that's making these decisions, but... Sam's uh, promising I'm everybody <laughs> I free XD I'm pretty forever. sure XD is going to be free. There's always going to be that free option. Um, and then with uh, the, the paid option for added functionality for sharing. Um, so, yeah, we, we want XD to be accessible to um, people like you that want to just give uh, design a shot and see, is this is this something I can see myself doing in the future? Maybe you're, this is something you're exploring as what you want to do for the rest of your life or, or just like as a career, perhaps. Um, and so opening that up is like, Boom. Yeah, why not? Awesome. Yeah, yeah. L like I said, Dean, I, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure we'll, we'll have <laughs> free XD. <laughs> I mean, I, I feel weird so making, I'm getting these, nervous. making these commitments. Like, I, I can't exactly speak on behalf of all that is this huge corporation. But, um, I mean, we're doing great things, and I love, 
I love our free version. It just makes it, just makes it so much more accessible. Like especially um, like students, right? Yeah. So I know at, at least at my school, I went to an art and design school um, and we get Creative Cloud as part of the school package, but some schools don't have Creative Cloud as part of that um, like tuition package for the students. And so having that accessible, um, if you're a student, great, great perk. Um, so, oh, Tiffany says the menu's looking good. I agree. The dotted line is stellar. <laughs> And so you can do dotted lines. That's one yeah, of the properties. Yeah, the little dash. Is that's here. one is of the that properties. How you use it? How yep. Do you, yep. Okay. Yep. Um, like learning and they're little. They're just like little dots. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, it's subtle. It's nice. And like so thing. those elements are actually really handy. Those aren't just an aesthetic element. That actually helps your your eye. Yeah. Go to across, the corn dog. Across horizontally. Um, to the price. To the yep. to the corn dog yep. price. Yep. Very important. Um, <laughs> Because when you have lists or tables or any kind of situation, like a menu where you have an item and then far over, you have this other item that needs to have a relationship with the item that's on the far left, then um, it becomes easy for your eye to just like wander into wherever. <laughs> so those dots are actually helping lead the eye and keep them on track. With three items, it's obviously fairly easy, but if yeah. you have a, have a big uh, list of many options, then having some some things for your eye to just latch on to really help. And those are just those small design details that um, you'll pick up on as a designer. Awesome. Coming, wow, this is to coming together, guys. really it's shaping up. To I'm, oh my gosh. <laughs> we're getting towards the bottom. Look, we can even I know. do. I, I want to do more here, but you know, we're just gonna, yeah. sometimes you just got to keep going and just does put a map, stuff down. Does a map go in the gray box? Yeah, I want to put a map in. Is there a fun plugin for a map? There is. There it's, is? Yes. Oh, right. And I, I helped oh design it. You go to plugins. That was not staged, by the way. Yeah. Guys. I legit <laughs> just wanted to like, discover. So man, it, oh, yeah, discover. Okay. Discover. And then uh -huh. do maps. Maps. Just type in maps. And then boom, maps generator, oh, install. Oh my god. Boom. Okay. Okay, it's not And then close this. Okay. And then keep that rectangle selected, uh -huh. and we're going to go to plugins. Uh -huh. And then maps generator. Uh -huh. Boom. Okay, where do you want it? San Francisco, of course, yeah. right? Look, so I helped, I reached out to the, oh the developer gosh. of this to help like improve the design of the plugin. Yeah. I was like, let's put some images in here. Let's like have different map types as like a visual. Um, oh, so you I'm really add big into JSON maps. Stuff. My yeah, husband's you can. really into maps oh, too. Okay. So maps I'm, are like, a big super thing obsessed in our with maps. So you type in San Francisco, okay. right. you have your zoom level, okay. and you can do include location pin, which I think you want. Yeah, I because, think I do want. Um, that's like the pin in the center. Yeah. And then just um, go for maybe it. maybe zoom in a little bit more. more, just slightly. Not not super not that much. Yeah, I think that's good. And then try generate map. Okay. Oh, oh. no. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> wait. Uh, is is this okay? Should I try it again? Let's let's try it again. <laughs> <Risky>. <laughs> Sam, maybe it you definitely does try work. It. <laughs> it definitely. Um, Did I click like something so, wrong? Sam, Did, oh, could be, I should. Yeah, maybe that syntax like that. might be important. Let's, let's try that. Do you think I need the state too, like this? Perhaps. Let's try it. I don't. I don't actually know all the all the details. Sorry, guys. Well, it does uh, work. I promise. We'll, uh, we'll um, come. Sam's gonna. Keep, I'm gonna hack on. He's gonna. Online he's gonna and work see on if that. I can figure out what what the how you have to fiddle with it. But Sorry. Um, I mean, it's it's a great it's a great resource to have ready to bring maps into your design because maps are just one of those things that can be a little cumbersome at times. Uh, okay, San Francisco. Map type include location. It works for me. It does? Do maybe yeah. it's my my plugin or something though. Yeah, or my I don't know. FCD. So so okay. I'll I'll redo that for you. So basically you have your rectangle selected. You oh, have nice, to have it selected nice. when you run it. And then we go to maps generator. And then you type in uh, your city of choice, your map type. So there's, if you want satellite view, you can do that too. Generate map. Can you do map. street? Can you do like the outline view or what are um, our options? There's so that's what the JSON is for. If oh, you really yes. want to get yeah, yeah, into yeah. a specific nice. style, um, otherwise they have just have the default styles there. Got oh it. look, that's so fun. Um, but yeah, so you could easily throw in a map to show where your food cart is, and you could turn on or off the, the location pin yeah. if you don't want that. Right, there. that's that's just like yeah, it's, it's everyone handy. needs to know it's nice. yeah where it's the, nice. where the yeah. truck is. Yeah. Um, very maps are great. They're colorful, good stuff. Yeah. I, mean, I think it just also tells like indicates to the user like oh I'm legit like I don't know like it's like a real real thing that's it's physical that's there yeah yeah. yeah. Because this is totally because this a is real, real. A food truck. 
with your support. <laughs> <laughs> Put in like a Kickstarter link in yeah, there exactly. as well. Oh my gosh. <laughs> For sure. Uh, so five minutes, submit your design into Discord chat. We'll go over some of those, um, give Let's you feedback on your design. That's just coming up in just a moment here um, as, as we continue jamming on corn dog design. <laughs> Which is thanks for sticking with us. A discipline. Guys. It's yeah. A, it's a well. It's a whole and, niche. And you are a leader in this discipline, obviously. <laughs> I am a corn dog expert. Oh yeah. <laughs> no, for sure. No oh, joke. Oh god. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, William saying maybe you need to restart XD once you add the plugin. Yeah, I'm not exactly oh, maybe. sure what what the little uh, nuance is there. Uh, it definitely, if you give it a try, it will likely work. Um, at least I hope so. Um, <laughs> it worked on your yeah. computer, so it's yeah. probably my computer. And, and so plugin developers, this is an open community where those plugins, they aren't developed by Adobe, but um, anyone mm. can kind of make whatever plugin they want. Um, and what's great is a lot, of, a lot of these developers are open to feedback. So if you do discover something that is not working quite as you expect, um, like for that one, Maps Generator, the Maps Generator plugin, uh, the, the creator of that, he has a GitHub page with the source code of the plugin, and a place where you can submit bug bugs and like feature requests and actually like like vote on like idea like it's it's great and it's all in GitHub and that's just like killer to be open source with a plugin like that um, and you'll find that with a lot of other plugin developers as well and so that's just an awesome community uh, to be part of if you are interested in maybe getting your hands on some programming or maybe if you do know that. You can you can make your own plugin for XD, um, so I mean it's a whole open world. Automate workflows, make maps. Who knows? Uh, there's a lot of fun ones too. It's definitely worth exploring. Is there a um, plugin for XD where it tells you all the fonts you're using in one file? Uh, it does it. It does it natively. It does it natively. Yeah. Yeah. So. Um, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it's, you have a lot of fonts, but yes, so your yes, assets yeah, panel yeah, yeah. is down here at the top one. This one. And then if you command A, <laughs> command A, and then, oh, oh, and then I add see. character styles Wait, command with A. command A, it'll show you every font that you're using. Oh, these are all the fonts geez. you're using. <laughs> Jesus, you're using a lot. <laughs> okay, that's Whoa. what I like to do. <laughs> so maybe uh, undo. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna undo that because that's a lot. <laughs> yeah. Um, but what's really nice is that if you add a character style in there, it's called a character style, and so every instance of a typeface, like a, a size or a color change is a, its own character style. Ah, I see. Um, and so if you add it to your character style and you continue reusing that style across your design, and then later your client's like, no, uh, this handwritten mm -hmm. script is terrible. You can change it right from that panel and it changes Just across replaces it. your whole design. That's awesome. It's like saves so much time. Same with colors. All yes. Everything in that panel can yes. be updated across your whole document. Um, for like I should really get into easy, the habit of doing. I'm just updating. like such a manual person. Yeah, like it's, yeah. It's but that bad. really, that really upgrades your design to become mm -hmm. using the tool in its full like smart capacity. In which case, like then it becomes like this powerhouse, or, um, and you get to really iterate really quickly, do some really fun things as well. Like you could replace everywhere there's yellow. You could change it for blue, just like that. Yeah. So. Everyone that hasn't submitted their design into Discord, if you're working on something and would like feedback on it, definitely throw that into current dash challenge. That's the name of the of the channel on Discord. You can find out how to get into Discord um, on our Behance page, behance.net slash challenge okay, slash XD. I just accidentally oh, um, no. like did, did Whoa. something or like shifted the pattern. Is that something I can do? That's yeah, so if cool. you move one of the uh, one of the bot whoa, I like that. Yeah. Oh, so what? it'll move for each one, yeah. Oh my. So you have like a group of four and you're yes. repeating a group yeah, of yeah. four, so mm -hmm. that's why they're they're moving in that behavior. If you had one and you were just repeating one then it would over, it then across each, the board. each one yeah. would change. Yep, so pretty pretty fun. William, I'm glad you're liking the XD tips throughout this. Um, Dean is saying it's pretty saucy. <laughs> Ooh, perfect word choice there. I, I completely agree. There's a lot of like little tips and tricks to XD. I'm learning a lot working yeah. next to Sam. Yeah, <laughs> I mean yeah. There's definitely a lot, a lot that can happen for sure. Oh wow! Get the latest from Corn Dog. It you have a so we're I using know, like this blue accent email. color. Yeah, I don't yeah. know. I don't know how I feel about it, but it's interesting. People go with people it. do say blue and yellow work 
together. Um, do you remember like like late night TV ad commercials? They'll have like that blue screen with the yellow phone number. Yes. And like in the upper third, they'll have like that picture in picture. Apparently the reason why they do that is because, and I don't necessarily recommend this as a designer, but apparently like yellow on uh, blue is like a really good color combo. I don't know. I, I don't dig it too much, but separate it they look nice. It feels very um, like college to me. Like, uh, you know, it's like academic. Rah, yeah. Rah, yeah, 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 yeah. And so we are going to jump into design feedback um, from people that have submitted their designs into Discord. And look, Gus, who you just made an appearance on the live stream just a while ago, is, is giving some feedback. So thanks for doing that, Gus. Um, and so uh, we, we're just going to hop in. So Grace shared uh, some designs for, um, I kind of want to look at the NASA one, which is the yeah. challenge from yesterday. We are really into and space. So Ooh. I, thanks for sharing a Behance link. That's great. Uploading your Behance, uh, your work to Behance is a, is a great way to show off. And so XD Daily Creative Challenge, August 5. Um, to August 16th. Um, just the first first things first is that like this text is just a tad hard to read because it's on this um, this earthy white slash blue background. You could easily just add a shadow and that will make but it. I love the type uh, type choice. Yeah, that's a nice classic like strong. The, what is that like Avenir or something? Um, nice nice strong sans serif typeface. Um, where you're going over the prompt and the principle, great to reiterate what's going on here mm -hmm. in our design concept. And the line is nice because you keep moving, you know, your eye keeps moving down the page, just guiding the user down. Yeah, okay. And there's a, d oh, there's it's Montserrat. Montserrat. It's not, okay. I was gonna call it, but I didn't oh, wanna be wrong. Oh, I mean, yeah, I mean, th those are pretty similar though. Yeah. Uh, and you're using this other typeface as well. For the Looks like you're using that only for 14 point, really small. Um, that. Yeah, that's just tiny, tiny, mm -hmm. tiny. <laughs> okay. Oh, I have bad vision. Um, yeah. <laughs> and so you're using some colors. Ooh, I kind of like how these look. Mm. It's following the space theme. It's with like a like, planet. It looks like a planet. I love it. That's definitely intentional. I love that. Um, whoa, okay, you have a design. And you actually have a video in here. You can whoa, embed a what? video right into Behance, which is whoa. really nice. You can make these auto animate um, transitions, which Grace did, so good job, Grace. Um, wow, okay, application completed. So there was a bunch of form elements on Got that earlier it. page. Um, let's let's go back to that and just take a take a quick look at that. Okay, so like name, phone number. Mm -hmm. um, Grace, I love what you're doing on the left, providing a timeline for where you are in the process, especially for something that's lengthy, like a like a job application. Like yeah. you want to know where you are in this process because it can be really long and like torturous to submit a job application. It's especially, rewarding. Especially for a government that. job, yeah, mm -hmm. like NASA. Um, cool, this is this is slick. Oh, look Some at that. Mock -ups. In, in context. Yeah. What do you those think about are, in context? Those are like clutch. Like when you do client <laughs> presentations, like not having that versus having that makes a huge difference. Um, especially I think in the early like branding stage, especially like even if it's the same logo, even if it's the same design, when again, helping the client visualize is like, and it's great yeah. for your portfolio because it tells, you know, totally. it gives the viewer like context of yeah. what this is. Totally. Um, as far as the design itself, um, I do see some like slight alignment things that I, I think uh, could be lined up. Like your logo on the left could be lined up with the rest of the page um, and some, some consistency in the, these like lighter gray values. I like that it's not just solid, not just gray, it's got some blue to it, which is nice. Um, but like they're all different, uh, slight different shades. Um, but I like you're bringing in the NASA brand, you're putting it in context on here. Um, it's definitely really solid as as a beginning. Um, I like how they still have the corn touch uh, pulled up there. Um, cool, we can close that. So yeah, this is great. And thank you for like going in the detail of yeah. explaining your prompt the principle and your concept, explaining that, the solar system thing. I think that's so huge it. as a designer too, to be able to write about your work and to like, you know, give context around what you're presenting. Cause to us it might be super obvious, but like if you just give people the design, like they might miss so many of the nuances that you are, or you know, what what you're trying to achieve with this thing. Yeah. You're, you're saying application completed. That's nice to have that feedback, especially for something that's as important as submitting NASA an application. application. <laughs> like, 
you, you, you definitely want feedback as an applicant when you're really nervous and clicking that button is a really big moment. You could even go deeper in here with that feedback. Instead of just application completed, please wait for further notice. You could do something fun, like, like especially since it's NASA related. Like, if, if you want, if it's part of your brand personality, you could yeah. be like, your resume has is shuttling towards space or like lift off. Like, yeah. you know, you can kind of like play into some of those metaphors, which could be fun. And like for a moment like that, where all this tension is building up to clicking submit on your resume and your like application, like that relief is just really welcomed by, by people. So having some, uh, you know, understanding where they're coming from with different um, different things on that regard. Okay, that's a great, great design. And then you have another one as well we can look at just quickly, and then we'll go into some Ooh, other. Ooh, podcast app. Ooh, look Ooh, at the yellow. yellow. Look at the yellow. <laughs> um, Soul color here. Awesome. Voodoo is linking to uh, some of, oh, our, our like social medias. That's nice. Thank oh, you. Th thank you. Um, thank you, Voodoo. <laughs> yeah, I really appreciate that. I'm Sam.design everywhere I go. So, um, okay, white on yellow. It's a little, a little bit hard tough. to read, especially like coming through the live stream. It, it might be a little different. And I think accessibility um, wise, which is super important these, and it's something I'm trying to work better at too, because sometimes I get so fixated on a color that I really want to use. Mm -hmm. um, but just looking at screen contrast is important just to, you know. Yep make it accessible to people who might not see color like we do. Or, or might not have eyes that are as good as uh, someone that's young and got like really good eyesight, right? Mm -hmm. So um, in, in general, stay away from small type, stay away from low contrast. There are plugins that can actually help you. Stark mm -hmm. is a plugin that will uh, help you start beginning to design for accessibility, which is just, that, that's a whole other live stream. In yeah. Itself. <laughs> um, okay. Oh, whoa. Whoa, look Whoa. at that! Whoa! Oh, that's so rad. Whoa! I love that animation. That's fun. So it's a storytelling podcast app targeted towards children and teenagers. That's so okay. cute! I I see this just the brand feels more like uh like early teen. Yeah. Not like later teen, but um like childhood. Yeah, but you said child and teen, so I imagine it's oh wow, we got some Harry Potter, subscribe. This is fun. I like your volume and like audio controls coming this out of here. This is super cool. Um, that's really fun. And you're showing like the different list of of the episodes. Look, and you're using real content, not lorem ipsum. Yes, super, super important. Good job for doing that. Oh, look at another video. We have the animation again. The animation is rad. And so, ooh, we have some side scrolling. I dig this, I dig this. I do kind of want to see some text alongside some mm -hmm. of those. Right. Artworks, right? Not sure like um, what I'm clicking into yeah. or whether it's Yeah. Just to have like alongside. Um but but the images by themselves are definitely descriptive, so mm -hmm. that's working. Especially actually, um kids don't like reading, so like <laughs> actually reducing text can to to enhance that visual medium is actually maybe an intentional call. So um if that's intentional then that's that's fine too. Okay. Um Let's keep going here. So um, we have another one here. Um, and I'm not sure which challenge this one was for. Perhaps the NASA one again, um, but we'll see. And this is an XD prototype link. Nice. So uh, Grace shared her designs on Behance. Um, and this one's coming uh, from Jess, and it's looks just an XD prototype link. Yep. Um, ooh, OK. Wait, I want some of the context on what this is. Um, this Oh, this is DCC day one, which Let's see what the prompt was. Simple design systems. Create a mobile experience for controlling wireless speakers and RGB lights. Okay, so now having that context is really helpful. Yeah. Um, I mean, of course, you, you submitted this assuming that the person would know the context, but just so we're all on the same page. Ooh, this is actually interactive. Whoa! Oh, cool. Bedroom, off. Ooh, whoa, okay, so I clicked into bedroom. Can I turn it on? Oh, okay. Whoa! Oh, Whoa! I see, I see. I like how you have some auto animate. You have this circular dial. Um, that drag gesture is obviously, it's not going along the path. Um, that's, that's a quick fix. If you make this circle as part of a larger object um, that is square, then rotate the square instead of moving mm. the, the circle to its new position. And then it'll, the whole object will rotate along that center axis 
because uh, it's part of a bigger transparent square that rotates along the center. If that makes sense, uh, hopefully it does. <laughs> um, uh, but that's a way that you can make it auto animate a little uh, slicker. Uh, the back button goes back. Great. Cool. Great to have a functional back button. And um, okay. Is this mic like a like a voice control thing at the bottom? I'm here? not sure what that is. It's not hooked up here, mm -hmm. but it might be. Maybe like a voice it command. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that icon reminds me of like karaoke. Yeah, I know. I want to sing <laughs> but into it. There's definitely the other icon, which um, looks more like that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Like that, a corn dog. Like a corn dog. <laughs> the one that looks like a corn dog <laughs> is definitely uh, the one that's in indicative of like voice. Yeah. Promise. Yeah. So always go toward a corn dog um, when possible. When in doubt. When in doubt. Corn dog. And then we have uh, a middle one. This is also bedroom. Got it. Interesting that that comes on on the tap of that object. I, I would almost expect bedroom to be pulled up in hierarchy. Mm -hmm. um, so that I see that. Because I am in the I'm room, making. right? Like, uh, often you might want to change a lighting in a specific room. So, yeah. versus oh. deciding that you're going to. Oh, okay. So, I see. There's actually different options uh. depending on what rooms have what devices. So, you have play, and then you select where you want hmm. to play. Interesting. That's fascinating. Okay. So, you're starting. Understanding user need is, is really key here because you're starting with intent of lights uh, on or off. And then, or music. We like which one do you want to do? Do you yeah. want to like? It's kind of action oriented at the beginning, versus and then you space choose. Oriented. And versus space oriented. And it even depend, right? Like if yeah. you live in a one bedroom apartment, then action oriented totally makes sense. Versus yeah. like if you lived in, if you're designing for users in like a mansion, then like you probably want to choose the area first. Um, yeah. Versus the action, or I don't know. Well, it'd be interesting. Yeah, I mean, but that's that's a great example of how you can change your the hierarchy of your design, um, just to. Like really simple, and that's something you can test with people. You can get yeah. it to someone and be like, "Hey, what do you think of this?" and get really easy feedback. Um, what what car? Okay, has submitted some feedback as well. Oh, I love this. Um, again, the space one principle. again. Oh, I love this. There's space. another space mm -hmm. one. Great. We're getting all NASA, all NASA spacey up here. Okay. Desktop version. Ooh, that almost implies that there's going to be another yes, version. Yes, it does. I'm interested. Okay. Uh, so you can fill in this form. Um, okay, this is great. This is day four. Okay, opportunity in missions. Moon to Mars. Ooh, I like that. Like the missions, future missions coming up, and you have the planets. Whoa, fun. Um, okay, missions. Oh, you have more. Okay. I wonder, like, what's the diff difference mm -hmm, between these two? Maybe this is like featured, or yeah. I'm not sure. Yep. And then I like these cards, they're floating off, mm -hmm. which is kind of like spacey, like things are floating, right? And yeah. I can imagine that would scroll. NASA TV, wow, mobile tablet version. Oh, cool. oh okay, there you can we watch go. the live. That's a real thing. You can watch a live feed of the space station yeah. if you'd like. That's kind of fun. Um, I think one point of feedback I might consider okay. is for um, the form and the buttons. The color is right now the same. Um, like the blue register button and the form, so maybe just creating a little differentiation could help so that it's clear that something is the form and versus the call to action. Um, so what, yeah. what color do you think you'd use if you're designing this? Would oh you like flip gosh. it maybe, or so you have yeah, a white or button? Yeah, you could. Yeah, inverse maybe even the form, or yeah, I, don't know, like, I can yeah. see the forms as being white. Mm -hmm. then so it kind of reads more like official to me as well. Like for, I mean, forms can be playful, but when I'm also like applying for a job at NASA, maybe something that feels a little bit more. Yeah, I don't know. Ooh, and you're actually diving into your brand components. style mm -hmm. and your components, and your colors. Um, it, the colors are working, like for sure. Yeah. Like red, white, and blue for a government America biased, like a, uh, you know, agency or institution, uh, feels like a real. Um, there's a prototype here. Feels like real colors. Ooh, okay. Oh, and here's the design itself, which you can embed into Behance um, with an embed code. Really easy to do. That's that's a nice one to do. Um, okay. I love looking at prototypes just because it makes things feel so much more real. Yeah. Oh. Ooh. Oh. Whoa. Look at that. This oh, is actually. That's awesome. That's fun. I like that. And you guys are all so good at this like animation stuff. That's I'm that's right. Like I could. I think design. I could click that all day. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. Salvatore says he loves that drop shadow. Yeah. Those those are great. Um. 
yeah, they are the NASA logo colors. That's true, red, white, and blue. So it makes it sense. It works. Yeah. For sure. On brand. On brand. <laughs> Always stay on brand, especially if there's an established brand yes. or something. Yeah, there's no need like, to reinvent the wheel if there is yeah. an Unless that's brand. the project. Yes. Right? Absolutely. Ooh, okay. Let's look at Julia, Day who three. often joins us in, I'm not sure if she's here, um, but often joins us in the live stream. So thank you for tuning in. Uh, let's see. Okay, this is day three challenge, which is design a podcast, podcast. app uh, where users can, people can subscribe. Okay, so this is similar to the, yep. the kid one that we looked at yep. earlier. Um, and let's open this up a little bigger. Um, yeah, oh, don't be afraid to like make your designs big when you're showcasing them for a portfolio. Like, it's it could be actually better to have less one, yeah. screens that are bigger so you can actually see them than to have um, like a ton. You know, like, but like featuring all of them, but they're really small. So um, that's just scale. Um, cool. Okay. So we have this list, a detail page. This is feeling really nice. Um, and I, I like this kind of typeface you're using for the titles. Yeah. I'm not sure if you're using a different one for the body text. I think I you think are using are, a different one. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, because you wouldn't want to use a stylized face mm -hmm, like that mm -hmm. for body text. It just won't read very well. It'd be tough to read. You want to use them for your body text when you have a lot of, a big chunk, big paragraph. Always stick to the, the simpler typefaces. Mm -hmm. That's great. I love it. Um, there might be more. Is there? I think there might be. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah, there's an interactive prototype. Or it's a video, which actually cannot be loaded. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> but there is a video in there, so thank you for... Um, cool for throwing that video in. Oh, here it is, okay. Um, it just didn't load the first time. Um, and here is going through the Ooh, experience. Awesome. Ooh, we have some auto animate in there. Mm -hmm. yeah, nice. That's inspiring me to like. Ooh, oh, Ooh, I like yeah. that. I like that. Yeah. And so I'm sure all of you that have used auto animate in the past can attest to like how easy this is to mm -hmm. just whip up with, whoa, whoa, I like that. Between play and pause. That's kind of cool. It becomes like a lot more live when it's actually, you get all those other colors yeah. when it's playing. I could imagine when it's playing too, maybe that gradient like moves or something oh. so that it's like. For it's, sure. It's, it's on. Oh, I'd love that. That would be really fun. That would be great. Okay. Does anyone have any new ones? No, okay. So we're just gonna keep popping up through, through our list here. Um, here's my work for date. This is VJ. Um, Okay, VJ, you just uploaded the, the image, um, and I want to see more. Oh, here we go. Ah, okay. This is fun. You could also share, VJ, you could also share like the design link to the web where we can click through your, your design itself. Ooh. Okay, so here we have all the different positions. Mm. I love the space stuff. I just can't get enough of it. Yeah. I love it. Um, what was the, what was it, the anniversary of the moon landing, 50th anniversary? Oh, yeah. Like, when was that? Two not, or three weeks ago? Not too long ago. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So you can see all the different positions. The call to action is clear. Apply. Yeah. I like that. Really nice. pops on the page. It does pop. And you get some high level info before you actually click into it. Yeah. And here's what it looks like when you click into it. I like, I dig this. You have different tabs for different parts. And nice. it feels like, I mean, you know, again, kind of thinking of familiar patterns, like when I look at mm. that, like when I look at these, it looks like, you know, kind of a job application system or portal or something like that. So um, I like that it feels like recognizable. For sure. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I Yeah. And the two column to have like, oh, just a great pattern in general is to have like just pulled out details on that right column. Like if you, if you like Wikipedia, right? They have that yeah. column on the right. <laughs> That just that pulls out the high high level. De lots of places do this. Look, corn dog. Yeah. Corn dog. Yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the details. Card. <laughs> details on the right, <laughs> into two column. Uh, so that definitely works. Um, so good job doing that. And then you can actually apply, um, where you see the actual uh, text elements. Really big, submit button. Yeah. I love big <laughs> call to actions. Why not? Um, it's good. It works. Um, oh. Um, okay. Great, great job. I think I think you're doing a, a solid job here. It can feel a little busy at times. Mm -hmm. um, just like amount of text, you can give some more white space just to ease things up a little bit. Yeah. But apart from that, I think you have a, a solid design here. Great, great one. Ooh, track application. I like that. People are always curious about. Yeah, did they read it? 
Did yeah. They, did it's like, what's, it? what's my status? People yeah. are probably coming back. Like, I want to be an astronaut. Come on. Like, you know, <laughs> um, sweet. Oh, I love how everyone in here is like giving feedback and to helping people. Yeah, people are giving oh, awesome. feedback to each other. Um, like to help it's everyone. It's so nice improve. to get feedback. Like, yeah, it's great. Just gets you out of your own head. Yeah. Awesome. So here we have Justin sharing a, a design for, again, like one of those prod, uh, brocast, mm. broadcasting apps. Um, okay. So I'm leaning over you. No, I'm it's like, I mean, I'm blind to see that screen. Yeah, no, so. it's, it's kind of small. Um, it's all good. Look, it's bigger for everyone now. Okay. Um, again, going into the prompt principle, that's great for set, setting everything up. Mm -hmm. Your color assets, you have a lot of colors here, um, which is okay. You can have like primary and secondary. Uh, make sure you don't have too many and make sure you're using them intentionally. Um, but let's see how it pans out in the design. I like your icons, fun, mm -hmm. fun branding here. Broadcast. Okay, homepage shows top trending. Cool, okay. Cool, cool, cool. Awesome, and here we have a design. I'm gonna zoom cool. back out so we can see the whole. The whole screen. The whole screen. Okay, let's hit play. Let's see what it looks like in action. Cool. Whoa, okay, we have an entry animation. Oh, I like that. It radiates out. Yeah, see, this is a good, you know, that text we were talking about to kind of anchor the user into what they might be clicking into. For sure. Yeah, I dig that. I like how you're using the cursor to like, <laughs> like this drive us down. Like, it really, it leads the eye. People attach their eyes to motion, so they'll look at where you look or where you are, um, you know, leading them. Great. Oh, okay. This is straightforward. I think it works. Um, it's definitely. Oh yeah. It's definitely like a strong design in terms of having like your list and like. Uh, whoa. Oh, this is beautiful. okay. I'm digging. I'm digging the play state a lot, um, with the actual like that big artwork, big use of the imagery and the artwork. That's really nice. Um, and you're doing a good job. Like it's it's pretty readable. Like this white text. Sometimes images can mm -hmm. be kind of hard, hard to put text on top of uh, because sometimes they're too light. But you do seem to have another overlay going on to keep it readable. And ooh, there's, ooh, a, there's chat. a chat function. There's a chat. Is this live? Is this live I know. Can we chat podcasting? Now? So I think that green gets <laughs> I wanna, a like, little type in. <laughs> tough to read. Oh, okay. For the links? Yeah. It does get a little hard to read. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, and it makes me wonder, like, you're not using that bright green anywhere else as an accent color. Like, you're using this red. So that's where you can you can consolidate some colors yeah. in a few different places. And but, something I find, too, is, like, when I'm um, just, I see that you're using, like, a really lightweight font. Um, and like sometimes it looks great, like when I'm doing like a mood board with that weight font. But then when you start setting it in, you know, larger paragraphs or in a smaller screen, it's like thinking about responsive screens too. Like those thin fonts get sometimes really hard to read yeah. at smaller sizes. Um, so yeah, thinking yeah. about. Oh, Voodoo is saying this has been a wonderful stream. Thanks for tuning in and, and staying active. I love yeah, Voodoo, dude, Voodoo, Voodoo Val. Val had really you great. Are, if we ever get corn dogs, you, yeah, we need to, <laughs> I need to talk to you about corn dogs. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> for sure. Awesome. Let's dive into one more and then we're going to wrap things up uh, for the day. Um, and we'll talk about what your next steps are for oh, tomorrow, yes. which is going to be fun. Um, but we'll, we'll quickly jump into just one more. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah, this one's actually, it's reminding me of, whoa, okay. Yeah. Look at that. I love how inviting planet. that is. Wow, like a new really world awaits you. That's one way to really grab me. Yeah. Like I'm wanting to Makes apply Makes me want to be an astronaut. Yeah. Yeah, look at the great imagery. Mm -hmm. Great imagery here. Who is this? This is uh, Washington Tehran. Um, great job if you're watching. Yeah, that's Careers awesome. at NASA. You're, you're getting, but you're not just throwing a form at their face. Like you're giving them information, which is, which is great. And you're selling them on the idea before mm -hmm. you actually tell them that you can apply. And then you have um, some different positions that are open here. Mm -hmm. um, oh, interesting. One little thing is like these list elements. Could maybe have like a divider between mm -hmm. them, so that they feel or, more clickable. Yeah. Or they seem like tabs because you kind of have a tab going. It's yeah. a tab mm -hmm. sort of thing. I think going. I think yeah. What do you think of this? Oh, whoa! Okay, I'm gonna zoom in to full resolution here. I think it's cool. Yeah. So is this more about learning about the job, right? This is mm -hmm. like a summary. Okay, I this see. I see. So maybe even. Um, I mean, I'd be interested to see like. Uh, like maybe some of it more expanded or, okay. um, you know. What one of them would look like Yeah, yeah definitely. 
But yeah, I it's, see it's that. important for them to know what the responsibilities are, right? So yeah, for sure. You could also include. Um, you could also include like auto animate or like what mm. that next step lo would look like. Obviously, you're putting a lot of time into this this yes. one page, <laughs> but I do kind of want to see like what the rest of it looks like. Make it a whole like blown out prototype could be really really fun. Uh, thanks, Washington. I, I like the design. That's it's beautiful. Really fun stuff. Okay, so we're back to corn dogs and we're ending the stream. So I want to hear from you. Like, what's next for yes. tomorrow? What can we look forward to? For sure. Um, fun without the bun is now really Yeah, large. you know, I just love that line. So I just <laughs> had to blow it up a little bit. Uh, and sometimes, you know, like making um, like mistakes with like font size. That's why sometimes I like putting oh. things in manually because I'm like, oh, like it's yeah. kind of unexpected. And now I'm like, oh, but I like this like typographic wait, now I want to do something with it. Totally. Um, so yeah, what I'm going to work on, um, just getting it a little better place overnight. And then tomorrow, what I'll show you guys is really using um, the resizing tools just to see like how I would, what by default would kind of get me there, but how I might tweak things to make it um, mobile friendly and I mean, really just adapt it to mobile. Perfect. I don't even like saying mobile friendly because yeah. I think that's like, yeah. it just should be responsive. I'm I'm really looking forward to it. Oh, um, oh my god. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's what a pleasant That's... background surprise. <laughs> Thank you, Paka. <laughs> um, but we'll see you back here tomorrow at the same exact time. We really look forward to it. Uh, we'll be back here. And see you later. Happy designing. <laughs>